Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me in Grand Theft Auto V. This is part two of our How to Be a Billionaire PS4 playthrough. We're back on the PlayStation 4, guys. Thanks again for joining up as we will 100% the game. We definitely have a lot to look at when it comes to the Chiliad mystery. And this, of course, will show you guys how to be a billionaire in Grand Theft Auto V. Shout out to everybody here live. Rocky91, Carl Johnson, Trippy Stoner, Trippy Kira. Is that right? Trippy Kira? Nice. Diaku Mas Ashura. What is up? What is up? Doug Ward, what is up, Doug? Thanks for hitting me up on Twitter. Well done. Savage Boy. All you guys, what's happening? So once again, this is part two. We're definitely going to be chilling playing some GTA 5 tonight, guys. As we must meet the craziest mofo that you could ever imagine. And that's Trevor, guys. So far, we only have... Hold on. I'm trying to switch it over so we can show the characters. There you have it. We only have Franklin and Michael... Plenty of missions to do, but we have still not met up with Trevor. I'm really looking forward to doing that, guys. That epic moment when you meet Trevor for the first time. And recently here at the channel, I did a video called The Truth About Trevor, showing that he is meant to be the biggest psychopathic character possibly of all time, because he's a combination of some scary mofos. And I think he starts the game off exactly that way terrorizing somebody from the start, murdering them because they caught him cheating or uh, banging his girlfriend. It's really fucked up. It really is, guys. But we'll find out. No spoiler warnings here. Shout out to Karma. What's happening, Karma? Thanks again for hitting me up about that. Very, very interesting stuff. Corrupt. What's up, Corrupt? HNH Gaming? I think PlayStation 4, yes. PS4, guys, I'm back on the PS4, and it feels so weird. It really does, you know. I was just playing GTA 5 for the Xbox One last night, and it's like, ah, uh, it's a million times different, guys. The triggers just feel so weird. I mean, they're both good, but when you play around with one and then switch it up, it's definitely a little bit of a buffer time. It takes some time getting used to. Shout out to T. Casper. And huge shout out to everybody watching this after the live stream. Much love. We have some huge episodes about to go down here at the channel, including one tomorrow, possibly today, depending on when you're actually watching this. And it's going to be a big episode, guys. It's going to be a huge way to look at the Chiliad Mystery Mural, as well as evidence to show that it's probably the correct way, guys. So thanks again for joining up. It's going to be an epic live stream as we just kick into it, guys. Let's head to Casa de Santa. We don't need a door. No front door necessary. Alright guys, what's going to happen here? Some kind of craziness. Shout out to Tanks, good to see you back in here. Uh, I know you guys have been blowing me up on the PSN or whatever, don't worry, I'll get to it. Get it for PC. Really, Mix Masters, and you want me to buy GTA 5 for what, the 6th or 7th time? They have me bought by the balls, guys. They have me by the balls. Here we go, Jimmy. Much love to all you guys. Hope all you guys had a great weekend and a good Monday. Let's do this. Yeah. This is, we can all relate to this. Even the trippy girls can relate to this, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, Shizen. Damn. True villain of the game right here, guys. The true villain, Michael. God, I hate that. That reminds me of my dad back in like... Like, even if you have a job, even if you're doing something, they're still going to come on you for that shit. Like, leave me alone, dude. Let me play my video games. Sorry. Rant. Quick rant there. Letting off some steam. Shout out to Jamario McKenzie. It's happening, man. Jonathan, what's up?
on Sutter. I just wish we could do things together. Jeez. Uh, you gotta admit, this is definitely some good character development. It's not exactly what you normally see out of GTA at the beginning, but it develops the characters like boom, right off the bat. Because we've already met Jimmy there at the uh, car shop. Trippy Stoner. Everyone blames Michael. I feel bad for his character. He's the only guy who's backstabbing the other characters, guys. I understand it's easy to make... I don't know. Kind of feel bad for him because we all like his character for sure. It wasn't until that last playthrough where I truly realized the nature of his ways. Alright. So, uh, what is this mission again? What are we doing here? Oh yeah, just lost the boat. Oh, by the way guys, uh, in the last mission, for those of you who missed the last episode... We just caught Amanda banging the tennis coach. Michael is pissed. No wonder why he's going evil. Quick backstory for you guys. Amanda was a prostitute at one time. And basically Michael was, was her pimp, you could say. So as far as her cheating on him, I mean... You know how it is. It's a, It's not the prototypical relationship. I wouldn't feel totally bad for her. I mean, of course, you feel bad for Mike a little bit, but it's it's a weird one for sure. And once again, the fact that Michael is the pimp back in the day really shows the nature of how he really is evil at heart. Look at his relationship with his son. See? Always thought I was the good guy. Wrong. I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't like seen that happen before. Shout out to Speed yeah. Fanatic. What's up? That's me. What's up, squad fam? My best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling See that he's rationalizing. That's just it's not right. If you only have one son, I feel like you gotta hold that guy under your wing. You know, you, you gotta take care of that kid. When you come into the world, you, you slowly realize that the world is a little bit crazy, you know? It's like when you're a kid, you're like, oh, this is great. I'm gonna be president one day. I think I'm gonna be an astronaut and go to moon or go to the moon. But then you realize it's like, oh, fuck. This world is a shit show. <laughs> Shout out to Rosalind, what's up? Hunter Hunter. Uh, my PS4 gamer tag is the Trippy Mofo. The Trippy Mofo. So there it is. Danny Otis, what's happening? Hope you had a good weekend. Which bike? Oh, I'm going with this green one. I like this one. Another thing you kind of have to realize when it comes to the characters in this game, or at least maybe Michael and Franklin's character, is that the place this game takes, uh, you know, is located at, Los Santos, is really, of course, Los Angeles. And people from Los Angeles, they're just a different breed. They really are. And a lot of them are heartless. So you can kind of see how Michael is almost like a true L.A. kind of guy, even though he's not really from Los Angeles. Dude, we are kicking Jimmy's ass. Are you serious? Jimmy. All right, I mean, I guess he's he's a little bit tubby. Shout out to Mingster. Shout out to Legendary Mike. Huge shout out to the mods. Hope you guys are doing well. Much love to you guys. Go, go, go. We cannot lose to tubby. Hey, for some reason I'm almost dead. Can Michael seriously like die? Oh, never mind. He's still got most of his life. It's just blinking. I'm gonna be like, geez, Michael can just like peel over while he's he's driving the bike. All oh, the yacht. Make sure your yacht puts that one to the shame. That one's pretty small compared to yours. 
Shout out to T Casper. What's happening? The dude. What's up, the dude? From what I remember, this mission's a little bit annoying. For everybody just joining up, so basically we will be becoming millionaires, all three characters in this in this uh, playthrough. Should be epic. I've never done it before, so it's definitely something I've always wanted to do. And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford, so then thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy Got a point there. Shout out to Dibs. What's happening, Dibs? Hey, Trippy and Trippy Army. I always love to watch your stream in bed before going to sleep. Nice. Yeah, shout out to Dibs. Appreciate all of you guys who checked out the Midnight Mystery Show. What I'm planning to do is, or it's actually just the Midnight Show. I'm just going to re-release a highlights version here at Trippy Commentaries. And uh, I'll probably release it at midnight and, you know, rebrand it as the Midnight Mystery Show here for uh, Trippy Commentaries. But I'll update you guys on that soon. We're off. Any sharks around here? Uh-oh. Is that a Steve Irwin Easter egg right there? Steve Irwin, a.k.a. the Crocodile Hunter, actually died due to the Stingray. Brother Ron, what's happening? What's up, what's up, what's up? Beast mode. What's up, beast mode? Alright guys, so this mission is a little bit annoying. We are going to save Tracy from the evil porn stars. The worst type of people there are. Shout out to Avian, putting all kinds of weird emojis out there. Person walking, rock and roll, rock and roll, middle finger, pointing, rock and roll, muscles, okay symbol, pointing, pointing, okay symbol. Fearless Force, what's up, Zoo Pals? Uh-oh, Fearless, you put the comment in all caps. It will get stricken down by the mods. They are savage. You better watch out. They give zero fucks. <laughs> As long as you don't type in uh, caps, you'll be okay, you see. All right, here we go. Amanda getting down, shaking the booty. Yeah, that'll piss off of Pops real quick. Oh, hell no. I was already pissed off about that tramp stamp. Nice. Ooh, Michael. So does this does this make him evil? Is this an evil thing to do or a normal father thing to do? I'm torn. I'm torn because I would I don't have a daughter, of course, or any kids, but I would like to have kids one day, and I would hope my daughter would not become a porn star. All right, let's go in here. Tracy, how could you? All right, so I'm trying to think how to best lose these guys without them shooting us, because I know normally they'll pick you off eventually. Yeah. Drug dealers and porn stars. Shout out to Trippy GTA. What's happening, Trippy GTA? GTA, you're saying it's an asshole thing to do. Are you saying saving Tracy from the porn stars and the uh, drug dealers? It is kind of fucked up. I'll admit it. But then again, like I said, if I was a father and caught my daughter doing the same thing, I would probably, uh, probably kick somebody's ass. See, we're at a dead end. I knew this was going to happen. All right. Shy's in. Alright, I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, that was not it. I was going to get out, but I don't want to leave her behind. Fuck. 
Go, go, go. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, now there's another one? Oh, great. Plus a boat came out of nowhere. Damn it. See, that's what I remember out of this mission is you really can't lose them. You kind of have to shoot them. That's what I remember doing last time. I was like, all right, damn it. Will these guys just leave me alone already? Why are they going all the way like to the ends of killing me? Fuck you. Die already. We're coming to a turn. We're coming to a turn. It's amazing what modern medicine can do. We'll lose them if we keep going this way. No, we won't, Michael. You're a liar. Should have bought some sticky bombs. Where are you? Just die already? He must be way back there now go around anyway shout out to everybody in the live stream fission works what's happening good to see you in here fission hope all you guys are doing well all right so i scared one of them maybe watch out or is this one going around he's gonna cut us off isn't he the bastard Who's Blake? Roy Gonzalez, what's happening? Told me to go straight. Oh no, it's a little bit too late. Okay, that might be... Okay, last time we went left. Wrong way. Let's go this way. Here comes this fucker again. Alright, you bastard. Hold still. Whoa, dude, there's another boat that almost hit us. That would have been pretty funny, but terrible at the same time. Shout out to Arno, who's chilling. Sahad Afruz. What's up? September R. Much love to you, September. Chronic Legend. Good to see you, Chronic Legends. Very nice, very nice. Good to see everybody in here. What's happening, guys? Thanks for joining up. First mission of the live stream. Not my favorite one in the game, I'll be honest. For as much as I love the jet skis. I usually only have a pistol at this point, so I'm like looking backwards. All right, so we did lose him after all. All right, sick, sick, awesome. Fission works. Steve G, what's happening? Yo, Dibs, have you tried to take any animals to the weird portal grass south of Mirror Park? You gotta try that one out, Dibs. The dude says so. Porno people. This is, I like this part right here. This is funny. Tracy goes and kicks Jimmy's ass. Finish him. Shout out to Charlie, what's happening, Charlie Sanchez, Matthew Lucas, what's up, Zolo, Avian Haley, good to see you in here, Avian, Hunter Hunter, what's up, look at Michael, he's got a bullet right to the heart, he's okay, it's all good, Ian Guardians, or Ian Curtis saying yo-yo watching Guardians, what, you're in the theater, damn, I hope it's good. I'm going to go see it this weekend. Any of you guys want to go see Guardians with me this weekend? September, fly down to Florida. You should come. Trippy Zippo. Slick Pimpin. Oh, hell yeah. Slick Pimpin, you're a legend, bro. Appreciate you, man. Oh, no. Did I get stuck under here? Whoa, I've never been under here before. Is the jetpack down here? All right, so yeah, mission one in the books, guys. Shout out to all you guys watching live. I do have a huge live stream planned for tomorrow, so on Tuesday, we're going to have a huge new episode, and I do have a GTA live stream planned. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when that will be, guys, but definitely have some big things planned, including another live stream.
trying to trying to figure all that out, guys. Definitely, we'll have some cool things coming this week. Exactly when they start, or what time they will uh, be, or what day. I don't know, but whatever. They'll happen at some point. Mingster saw Guardians. All right, Mingster. I know, I, I've heard that it wasn't as good as the first one, but, I mean, come on. It's pretty hard to be as good. I just hope it's it's really good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, <laughs> September. Nah. Can you shoot me your PS4 account, says Hunter Hunter. Uh, you know what? Let's switch over to Franklin, by the way, guys. Uh, yeah, it is the Trippy Mofo. The trippy mofo. I'd love to see Guardians of the Galaxy 2 this weekend. This motherfucker claimed it. Says JN. Hope you're doing well, JN. Smoke folk clean. Yeah, guys, uh, if you send me a friend request, just uh, make sure. Make sure to put a message on it. See, no message. What does this one say? I don't often get a chance to watch live. You know, so that's cool. That's cool. Just let me know what's up. See, hey, it's Trippy Texan. Trippy Texan, one of my favorite members of the community. Definitely love Tex. Looks like he's from Greenville. Hell yeah. So yeah, just let me know in the messages, guys, and I'll go through and accept who I can. I believe, I, uh, believe I'm definitely limited, so I'll figure that out. September saying, I'm about to burn some sage. Ooh. Yeah, huge shout out to Trippy September, guys. She's on our Xbox One crew. Really looking forward to hooking up with her and the other crew members very soon. Just part of the, uh, the Trippy family. But I gotta do that too. That's a good idea. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, should I light up a candle or some kind of, uh, I don't know, like sage or lavender or something during the live stream? I think I could go for some aromatherapy something like that H and H gaming is Minkster a mod some say it is true some say it is true all right so where are we heading here so by the way guys as far as becoming a billionaire is concerned we are going to try not to spend any money at all until the time is right so that is extremely crucial just keep that in mind. If you are going to do this yourselves so far, I know you might have missed that first part of the playthrough. But just remember, do not make any purchases if possible. As the more money we can save, the more billions we will get. Alright, so I took a wrong turn, unfortunately. Hopefully this leads the same way. What's going on up here? Gardener? Hope all you guys had a good Monday. I'm a longtime family member, says Devin. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, once again, I know a lot of you guys have been around Trippy Commentaries and myself for a long time. And I know you guys are probably used to the more standard issue Trippy episodes where I like to make like a five to ten minute episode or whatever about something going on in the Chiliad mystery. But recently, considering this has been a three-year hunt at least, I really have, I just enjoyed hanging out with you guys in the live streams. I think that's the way to go when it comes to this, you know, the, the whole Chiliad mystery, and all that stuff with GTA 5. So I really enjoy it, but that said, I do have some episodes playing for you guys. I have a brand new one going up tomorrow, so much love to all you guys who've been around forever. I'll have a special old school trippy commentaries episode. Probably try to give you guys some love in the episode as well. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Whoa. Okay, so what's happening here, guys? Which mission is this? Is this Beverly? I'm guessing by the location, it's probably Beverly. So, as far as the karma is concerned, I just want to think about this for a second, guys. Because, you know, if karma is involved in the playthrough, 
I feel like each character has different karma. You know what I mean? Like, Michael is evil, right? So maybe he should do all the evil stuff. Trevor... But is Trevor the good character? Ah, oh, man. And we still don't know what we're going to do at the end of this playthrough. We know we're going to be billionaires. I think, honestly, we're going to keep all three characters. But I still am not... I'm not sure, guys. You got to let me know what you think. Shizen Trippy, it's coffee time. Nice, James Anthony. Good comment, James. Sour Malones, what's happening? RJ, if th are you thinking of doing a race in a little bit? Ooh, I mean, hey, Sour, if you're here, I mean, you, you definitely can set one up. I'm down. If you're going to be chilling with us, we can do that. Appreciate you, Sour Malones. You're, you're very clutch. So here we are, Beverly, pretty much representing the paparazzi of Los Angeles. Considering that's such a big thing, they have no choice but to represent it. Not my favorite character in the game, but hilarious missions will happen for sure. Asa Hoslidge, Trippy, what will you do when you hit one million? Uh, one million, that's, that's when I'll have the nude reveal, but yeah, much love to you guys. Definitely help help out a brother with the climb to 1 million. That would be amazing. Not that there's much you guys can do then, just being awesome. Alright, Beverly. Let's do it. Let's follow this fucker. I appreciate that, Arno. Yeah, any donations really help. I know a lot of you guys recently have been donating like $1 here and there. and Trust me, that adds up and that really, really helps. The biggest thing for me with the, uh, you know, the whole YouTube like ad revenue, uh, you know, whatever it is, the adpocalypse, I just needed to cover the damn cable bill. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crucial. If it doesn't cover the cable bill, I'll be mad. Because you got internet, you got, like, it's like so much for this stuff. Oh, hey. All right, but well, whatever. You guys don't give a fuck about that. Let's catch up to this guy. Get him. We got to get on the side. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Definitely drop some comments. Appreciate all of you guys watching after the live stream. Let me know if you've become a billionaire before in the game. I've never done it before, and it very well could be crucial to the Chiliad mystery. Guys, keep in mind, the golf course. You see that right there, guys? I mean, I'm sure all of you want to own it, right? It's the most expensive property in the entire game. Well, you cannot do it. Or you cannot buy that property unless you do the billionaire playthrough. This is not a cheat. This is not a glitch. We're going to do exactly what Rockstar intended you to do. Possibly the biggest Easter egg and hidden secret in the entire game. Despite the fact that they do tell you about it. Whoa, okay, we're going after this guy now. Should I kill him? Bastardo. Shout out to Trippy Findings. What is up? What is up? Whoa, I looked away. You can always tell, guys. Notice it's like, shout out to doo doo doo, dead. Get back in the bike. Get back in the bike. Hurry up, you freaking paparazzi bastard. I'm doing the parachute mission, says Nick. What's happening, Nick Inez? Mr. Gamer joining up. What is up? Uh, this guy's a slow ass. We're good. We might do better if you shut the fuck up. Sour Malone's obviously we just started the playthrough, so uh, it's gonna be a little bit, but that sounds like a pretty good halftime break for me. I'm good. We'll do a quick uh, online race, guys. So if any of you guys are on the PlayStation 4, you can pretty much join up. We'll just do a halftime race at some point. 
And uh, yeah, PlayStation 4 can join up and be part of the episode, part of the live stream. And you can maybe even win the race. Shout out to Scott's Adventures. What's up, Scott? Do I kill him? Oh, I just, I, I see what I do. Bat him upside the head with the camera. Muhammad Ali. Kaboom. There you go. Fuck him up. <laughs> Alright, we'll let him live. There's a small parking lot by the Cafe Redemption. Courtyard in Morningwood. Cafe Redemption. Keep the bike because I look after my people. Mason Dinkal. What's up, Mason? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Let me know what's going on in, in your life right now. What's happening? Do you uh maybe do something cool over the weekend? You find some money? Did you go to Disney World? Did you play some Grand Theft Auto? Whatever. Uh, where are we going? Wrong turn. Whoa. All right, guys. So here we go. First Beverly mission is over with. Very nice, very nice. We did it. There's a pretty fun mission coming up where uh, I believe some chick is just possibly getting it through the back door. Dude's knocking the bottom off of her, I guess. Ah, that's like the best quote in the freaking game right there. Did you hear it? I wish I could rewind that. Continue the search for the truth. Shout out to Leiden Duck, a trippy, first time joining the chat. Appreciate that, Leiden Duck. Yeah, be part of the chat. I try to read it as much as I can. Sometimes it can be hard when I'm driving because, I don't know, in that last playthrough I crashed a lot because I was uh, so so into the live stream chat and all that. So I'm going to try to drive a little bit better, but, yeah, I'll, I definitely try to read as much as I can, guys. I got the chat right in front of me. What's over here? Another Tanya mission. Fucking A. I hate Tanya. Alright guys, so once again, as we become a billionaire, all three characters, it is crucial... Shizen! It is crucial... Ah, uh, you know what, actually, as I say that, I'm going to reload it. The public needs to know and the fans deserve the answer that fits the mystery in Ned Luke's is Alex Giles. All right, I'm going to reload it real quick. I believe we just got a quick save, right? Yeah, quick save. Because what I was going to say is we do not want to spend any money in the game. So we can't buy clothes. We can't buy anything unless they actually tell us to do it. So because of that, I don't want to lose $5,000. Probably going to get age restricted against this trippy GTA. No, we'll be all right. I mean, the time we got age restricted, there was the titties like right in our face for a long period of time. And I'm talking about like the nipple was 80% of the screen. So of course it's going to get picked up. What's the death counter at so far? I don't know. What does it count? Does it count when you die actually in the game? I'll have to check it out. Shout out to Transport. What's up, Transport? Let's see. General, missions passed, total deaths, one. So, and that's probably just the one that I had in the uh, in that last mission. I don't know if it counts that mission, if that death. Hopefully so, so it didn't cost us any money. All right, so. Wait, now Tanya's not there? Let's go ahead and meet up with Lester. 
Mr. Gamer's going to get PS4? Nice. Hit me up when you get it. That bus came out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere. Speaking of RKO out of nowhere, guys. Did you see last night the... Uh, did you see the, the WWE pay-per-view last night? They had a freaking match with Randy Orton. Of course, the guy who does the RKO out of nowhere. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I figured he was going to let us get the tab. So they had a match. Okay, it's Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. They had a match in like a haunted house. So they were beating each other up, beating the hell out of each other. So Bray Wyatt drops a motherfucking refrigerator right onto Randy Orton. So, you know, you'd think Randy Orton probably dead. This was the heavy-duty industrial variety of the uh, refrigerator, of course. Randy Orton looks like he's dead. Bray Wyatt leaves the haunted house, gets in the limo, back to the stadium. You know, obviously when he gets back to the stadium... It's going to be epic, of course. He can uh, he can pretty much come in with the fireflies, as they call them. Hold on. Fixing something on the computer real quick. But yeah, guys, so you think that it's going to be glorious as Bray Wyatt has conquered Randy Orton in the haunted house. Ah, oh, jeez. Hold on one second. Quick second, guys. All right. Computer just went on the fritz for a moment. All right. But yeah, so haunted house match between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt drops a refrigerator on Randy Orton. Bray Wyatt takes the limo back to the arena to celebrate killing Randy Orton. He comes into the middle of the ring. You guys know Bray Wyatt's intro. Basically, all the lights turn off. What's this? All right, so we're the true villain, guys, which means we must do villain stuff. So he goes into the middle of the ring, and, you know, everything's black because Bray Wyatt's intro, they turn off all the lights. And, like, everybody takes their cell phone out to, you know, create a ton of lights. Well, when the lights turn back on, lo and behold, who's there but Randy Orton? And you'll never guess what happens. You had your chance, he RKO's him out of nowhere. Yes, exactly. It was epic. All right. So that said, oh, size it. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's go grab the money and keep it for ourselves. As a true villain would. Alright. Now we're off to Lester. Go back to Jesus? I didn't see him back there, Nick. Okay, that's that guy. No, we're stealing your money. No, we're not we're not giving it back. We need it. So there's another mission here too. That's the mission where you turn into or you have to fight aliens. We'll hold off on that one. That's the one that says that Michael got abducted and returned back to Earth. Thanks again for joining up, guys. Huge shout out to everybody in the live stream right now. I know there's quite a bit of you guys. Hope all you guys are having a good day. It is 11.15 my time, p.m., so it's almost Tuesday. Sorry for the later live stream, guys. I actually wanted it to be earlier. It did get caught up, but I'll have some pretty cool live streams coming at you tomorrow and then the next day. One will be GTA and one will be non-GTA, but I think you guys will like them both. Coming, Lester. Yeah, so not only will we meet Trevor in a little bit, but first we get to meet Lester for the first time. I don't really watch WWE anymore, but Seth Rollins is my favorite wrestler. I don't give a fuck if he's a sellout. Yeah, I like Seth Rollins quite a bit as well. No, he's not really a sellout anymore. That was that was like last year or whatever. He's got a different storyline now, especially because he's fighting Triple H. 
That's his rival all of a sudden, I guess. Shout out to Rosalind. Thank you, Rosalind. Appreciate the donation. Very much appreciated. Yes. Look what Michael's wearing, dude. What is What kind of outfit is this to go meet your old friend? Here I am. When Michael reunites with Lester. This is, of course, one of the most infamous missions in the game. Infamous 420, saying it's almost 420 somewhere. Very true. Probably 420 in uh, China right now, something like that. Hitting hard, hitting hard, Lester. So not only is this like an infamous mission as far as meeting Lester, but what you actually do is epic, like super epic. This might be my favorite mission in the game. Shout out to Guts D just subscribed. Oh hell yeah, dude! Can you drive a jet? Ah, I mean I can. I just can't save it, Guts. Maybe we can go grab one. I'll try to get one for you for because you're a new sub. Much love to you. Shout out to anybody who's new in the live stream right now. Much love to you guys. Definitely subscribe. We have a brand new live stream coming up tomorrow and the next day. Would love if you guys can join us. Trippy Tombstone saying, who's your all-time favorite wrestler? I'm going to give you a clue. You're never going to figure it out. Oh, yeah. It's very cryptic. Trippy Jackass watching the stream in a train. Epic. Very epic. All right, so let's head out, guys. Obviously, clues galore in Lester's house. This is the first time you see a lot of these clues. So a lot of times, you know, for first-time uh, GTA 5ers, they're going to come in here and be like, whoa, who's this guy? Lester? What is this? Whoa, a jetpack. Holy shnikes. Uh, what does this sticky note say? 88 mile per hour time travel. Shizen. Uh, let's look around. What is this book? Holy shnikes. That is... CJ from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So there's just a ton of cool stuff in here. Even the, the Vinewood zombie. I always thought that that maybe was a clue telling us that zombies will come to GTA 5 just like they did in Red Dead Redemption. Do you guys think zombies will come back for Red Dead Redemption 2? That's the good question, right? Are they going to have another undead nightmare? You would think they would have to. Driving cross town, so we gotta go grab a quick outfit. Then we will go do one of the funniest missions ever. Heads are gonna explode. It's a very mind blowing mission. Trippy Jackass's favorite wrestler is John Cena. Nice, nice. Ah, uh, stay trippy, JN. Stay trippy. Cruising through, guys. So, yeah, there's so much I need to get to. I do want to cover some stuff here in this live stream, but there's also, of course, I things that I need to cover in episodes so I can point stuff out to you guys, let you know what's up. 
a lot on my mind when it comes to the Chiliad mystery right now, guys. All right, here we are, the old suburban. Echo Rock Insurance. All right, here we are. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview with this tech company. I'm thinking I need something I don't know. Geek. Shout out to Alan Roswell. What's up? I'll be streaming for a while, Alan. Haven't really been going for too long. Shout out to Game Tiger. What's up, Game Tiger? Yo. Michael DeSanta joining up. here guys it's got to be nerdy right we need the special nerdy brand t-shirt uh, I think it's one of these yes must look like a true nerd that looks nerdy to me dignity aside that's it oh, okay shouldn't I Shouldn't I wear, doesn't it seem weird to like wear sandals though? It's like it's my job and I'm just going to go and wear sandals. I guess they really don't care. Yeah, whatever. Trippy Tombstone. My list of top five is Shinsuke Nakamura, number one. Number two, Dean Ambrose. Number three, Seth Rollins. Number four, Finn Balor. Number five, The Undertaker. So you have Finn Balor over The Undertaker? I mean, yeah, I guess it's your list, though, yeah. All those guys are pretty cool. I think one big omission from your list. And any true wrestling fan, I know a lot of you guys probably haven't been watching wrestling since the Attitude Era. But any true wrestling fan cannot have a favorite list without The Rock. I mean, The, the Rock was unfreaking believable He was amazing. He was hilarious, great fighter, everything combined into one. And then, of course, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here we are, the Life Invader office. This place is awesome. So I guess this guy that we're about to meet is a guy that we can recruit for the the heist. So I'm wondering if we should maybe use him. Last time there were some guys we didn't meet before the heist, so I'd like to maybe try to meet up with Packy or something. I don't know. I guess we'll, we're mainly just focusing on trying to become a billionaire, though. And obviously trying to do everything right for the Chiliad mystery. Hey. Shout out to Steven Vick. What's happening, Steven? Thanks for all your comments, as usual. Appreciate it. When you watch the videos and give me your feedback, much love. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully priced update a year later. I like his Yeti shirt. That's dope. I want that Yeti shirt. I would wear that. I need to get some GTA. I'm going to go on to the GTA store after this and see what they have. Because if I'm going to do like a face cam or whatever, it would be cool to have a shirt like that on. He just sneaks in with the sandals. Straight James Bond style. Ethan Hunt. Alright, here we are. I'm going to turn the uh, audio up for you guys here. I actually I like this whole Life Invader interior. You guys can hear some of the cool sound effects and stuff. Much love to you guys, the dude, Trippy Trippin, Ashura, hope you're doing well, Sure, I hope you had a good weekend over in India, right? I could be wrong, but I think it's India. Hi. Oh, hi. ASJ Gamer Girl, what's up? I wish we could play this, guys, back in Vice City, you could play The Cubed. So they took it out, like, come on, you can't give it to us? That's right. See? 
Bow down to the SJW, you mofo. Mr. Wanted chiming in with Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Dean Ambrose, and Chris Jericho. Quick comment. You know, I don't want to obviously talk too much about wrestling, but I hear so many people booing and saying Roman Reigns is hated, yet so many people reach out to me telling me they like Roman Reigns. It's like, I think it's a misconception. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested... Trippy GTA, you like it because there's porn ads. I do like this part. This is hilarious. Trippy Echelon. This is a filthy hard drive, Trippy bro. got... Back from the dead. Sorry, uh, Trippy got hacked. Oh, no. Are you serious, uh, Echelon? You got hacked? Thank you for the donation, Ash. Much love. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups... This is hilarious as fuck right codes? here. Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a do. You want to take Stay a back. Down. Give me the wink, bro. Run the antivirus. How about I run the anti eater And we scan. Scanning. <laughs> yeah. Might be why I get all these migraines. Looks like my PC says Arno, James Anthony See, Myra, Roman Reigns is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's what I was saying, guys. You hear so many people like, uh, nobody likes Roman Reigns. It's like, damn, I have people hit me up all the time telling me they love Roman Reigns. I used to like him. Hey, have you seen the prototype? The air guitar. When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Hope you're having a good Monday, Grim. When we go Alright, into the secret special protocol room. What do we have in here? No pro no privacy. The future of American economy? Live tomorrow <laughs> instead of live today. No privacy equals no lies. Oh man. If we don't keep smiling, the cameras will pick it up and we'll be outsourced to Molly. If we don't keep smiling, the cameras will pick it up. That's some funny shit, too. This is hilarious. I like the main office. That is a baller office right there. Hold on, guys. There's a moth flying around the TV. Get out of here, moth. You're annoying me. How'd you get in here? A moth has infiltrated Trippy HQ. It's very annoying. I think one of you guys took the moth peyote plant, didn't you? Shout out to V Dog. Free thinking tank. All right. What do we have here? Time to dock. That's how you do it. All right, let's get out of here. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. Shout out to Banana Girl. It's a Monday in Motivational May. Let's get motivated. Ah, oh, look at you, Banana Girl. Thanks for the good vibes. We appreciate it. Stupid moths. You're telling me. How do you even get in here? I know how he got in here. I like to keep, like, I have a sliding glass door, you know? And I like to keep it open when it actually feels good outside, which is not very often. Let's get out of here and... Ooh, I like your car, sir. I will take it from you. Oh, no. Oops. Oh, stomped us. Skirt. All right, so we finally got this under control. We call him Lester. No, I guess we didn't.
taking it right right here wait till you see this guys if you have not seen this part of the mission i'm telling you just pay attention it is extremely mind-blowing Are you watching Fame or Shame? Get the fuck out of here, Tracy. Go chill with porn stars. Chilling like a boss. Shout out to June SA266. Interesting comment. Not going to read it, but interesting comment. Hey, Trippy, I'm at the windmills. There's one that isn't working. There's a symbol on it that has a triangle and some logo. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What you're talking about, Nick. Keep it a secret. Join up. Trippy Jackass saying RJ kill someone. Well, Trippy Jackass, you're in luck, my friend. You're in luck. But first, let's change the channel. There it is. What's going on here? Shout out to Rolando. Soon enough, Trippy Jackass. Soon enough, Diane Durbin. What's up? Diane Durbin typing in some kind of random numbers. What does it mean, Diane? Repeating the number four. Hmm. Not sure what it means. Perhaps the answer to the Chiliad mystery. It's mind blowing. Yeah, thanks, mods. Future, guys. Should we call him, guys? See what he wants to do? 88 likes. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Definitely, if you're chilling right now, we'll be live streaming for a while. Drop comments, guys. I have some stuff I want to tell you. During the live stream, we're going to do a trippy race. So, yeah, definitely like. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Much, much appreciated to all you guys. With all that said, let's call Jay Norris. Stay trippy. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. No, 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 Let's... Whoa. There she blows. It's pretty fucked up. And I feel like this is one of those moments in the game where it shows you that this is not, you know, this is some next level GTA. This is the evolution of GTA. It's not exactly the same GTA that we've been seeing. There's going to be Possibly some new technology added in. Blown heads. Alright, so there you have it. I guess, what is that? Pretty much, uh... Mark the beginning of the Lester hijinks in the game. Shout out to John, what's happening? John saying it must have been a Galaxy Note 7. Alright. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, oh, hell and yeah. meet me at my warehouse the first off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link the for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll yeah. take a look. All right. So there you have it. 
I say we switch it up to uh, to Frank for this next mission, guys. Once again, keep in mind, we will be meeting Trevor in this mission, or in this playthrough, or in this live stream. Uh, sorry, guys, a little bit jumpy today, I think, because it's Monday. But, yeah. Just uh, stay tuned. Once we do that, we will be meeting Trevor. What the hell's going on here? Oh, traffic jam? Fuck this dog. Fuck this dog. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be... Ah, oh, it's Los Angeles traffic. That's crazy. Is that new? I feel like they add in, like, you know, these new buffers or whatever. The new intros to the characters. Alright, we need to do a U-turn anyways. Get out of my way. Here we are. We have reached our destination. So yeah, guys, we're on the PlayStation 4. Graphics look a little bit better than the Xbox One, actually. Oh my god. These are not trippy girls. Not trippy girls. I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute, Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, Magenta so is you say. reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scared. Boy, go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Good. And stay out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Shizen. Bitch, you ain't no more of a man than me. I Shout out to Shadow shit, Reaper. Nigga. Look who's bizarre. What's up, Shadow oh, Reaper? Man. Show some respect here, nigga. That man ain't couldn't hold down his stretch. On, this mission's awesome, guys. I gotta spend my day with another middle aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dog. Oh, oh, you missed oh, me, shit. huh? No, I ain't missed you. No love. Boy, no love. Stay gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your mom, mm -hmm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. <laughs> what? It's now, fucked huh? up, man. Hey, but I see Maybe Franklin is the true villain after all. Check that on that. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. But I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you've been doing your time looking oh. at sweet boy balls? Oh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. <laughs> oh, Why damn. you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been Savage. turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up. Nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect <laughs> for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. Kind of wish more of this stuff was in the game, to be honest with you guys. Cool out, chill, man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves too, man. Part of the nigga charm, man. Hell, come on, man. Part of part of his charm, dude. Drive away. Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Business. Business. Y'all niggas act like girls. Shit, not me. Shit. Ammunition, come on, let's go. All right, guess we're the driver, guys. Let's ride out with the gangsters. No chop. Shit, homie, you gonna drop all that bread on that gear? You might as well get a haircut too. Fucking crazy-haired microphone, motherfucker. Gotta, gotta get the afro. Right Shout out to Jake Carlson. What's up, Jake? You still on this chili ad mystery? Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, we're just playing some GTA 5 tonight. You know how it is. Beating the story mode, we just got the PlayStation 4 version of Grand Theft Auto 5. So we do have to 100% it so we can have it all completed here on this side. Illuminati Pharaoh shit. Illuminati Pharaoh shit. I'm going to turn the uh, audio back down just a little bit. Shout out to Creamy. What's up, Creamy? Welcome to Ammunation for the first time. Shout out to Keep It Secret, Rolando. What's up, what's up? Nick Kinez, Citizen X. 
just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. All right, homie, get your shotgun with the flashlight modification. Hey, you got cash? Yeah, oh, we definitely need a shotgun. I think he was fiending, but ain't no fiends that fat. Take this cheese, you old broke ass. So this man. mission kind of reminds me of Grand Theft Auto 4 a little bit. Come on, man. Like I was saying, I really think that they should have had more missions like this in this game. Alright, good enough. So once again, guys, because we're trying to become a billionaire, we are not going to be able to spend too much money at all. So even in this case where normally I'd, I'd be customizing it and everything and maybe even grabbing body armor, in this case, we're just going to go without it. We should be alright. Everybody showing trippy creamy some love. Nice. Why do I get the feeling this gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Yeah, creamy is helping us out in Destiny, guys. We're gonna have another Destiny live stream. Maybe tomorrow, hopefully sometime soon. I'm really looking forward to it. Vagina muscles. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You've been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG. Damn, man. Franklin's kind of nice for the most part, but this stretch guy, he hates. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, the guy just got out of prison. Give him a little bit of a break. You know, just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas are your strong suit, so put it on me. It's nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. I think that they should have done more with Ch with uh, Stretch, though, really. He's supposed to be this big villain where you kill him at the end. Or at least Michael kills him off camera. The Shady Factory. ASJ Gamer Girl. Hey, why aren't you at 1 million subs yet? Thank you, Gamer Girl. You gotta help me out. You trippy girls definitely gotta help me out. Creamy will definitely help for sure. Reaper saying make trippy creamy a mod. Yeah, I, I do have to switch her over at some time. That is hilarious. Like the last mission we kidnapped him. And then they come back and it's like, Lamar Davis, what's up? Like, what? Oh, damn. Whoa, I was not ready for that. Shotgun time. Is this the elevator? Does this work? Conveniently, the elevator does not work. Alright guys, so yeah, man, this mission is awesome. Whoa! Who's that? Lamar? Damn, Lamar! It's kind of straightforward. In fact, this mission, if you put it in first-person mode, it feels like a bona fide Call of Duty game. But I still like it. That's what Grand Theft Auto is all about. You know, just going around, shooting people. Straight gangster. Coming through. Oh, Jaizen. Oh, dang it. Okay, I think we're done, right? Oh, no way we're done. Fuck. Dude, this shotgun completely owns, though. Oh, no! Dang it! Terrible timing for the reload. I should have watched that. One more bullet. That was the last guy, too. Shizen. Turn your torch on. That's right. Get 
behind. Oh, dang it, man. Went down quick that time. We go run, fuck that. Get out. Timothy Bennett, what's happening, Timothy? Uh, my PSN name is the Trippy Mofo. You guys want to send me an invite? I have a ton of invites, right, or not invite, friend requests. I have a bunch right now, so I do have to go through them. Fuck you! Man, that's crazy, guys. The fire looks like completely realistic in this game. I mean, at least from far away, maybe not up close. Oh, dang it. Oh, and then we catch on fire. For fuck's sake. It's trolling us. Eric Kronberger, what's up? No, not almost time for uh, race yet, Sour Malone. Alright, let's stay back here and kill everybody. Can we accidentally kill Stretch? They don't let us do it. So is the fire spreading or no, I guess not. Die already. Got some health over here. I'm gonna check out upstairs, see if there's anything up here. Can we fall in here? Oh damn it. Thought that was like something you could fall into die or something like that. Let's go. Oh, damn. Two more. Reload. Fucking A, dude. Here you go. Creamy, this one's for you right here. Uh, I guess it doesn't have the same effect. I'm teabagging him. Doesn't look as good in this game. Oh, hell no. Yeah, you guys who are all about the missing letters in the game, you got this S right here. This is the one that probably stands out more than any other. Fell from the top of the uh, salvage and scrap, I guess. What does that say up there? Hog? Hoggers? Hogers? I don't know. Something like that. Where the hell are we going? Shout out to Trippy Titanium. What's up? Snappy Zebras. Snappy Zebras with the award for best name in the live stream. What's up, Snappy Zebras? Thanks for joining. Jump. Got a car right over here, next to this dude trying to pick up a prostitute. Okay, that was fucked up. I probably did not have to do that. I apologize. Oh, no. Fuck. Fuck, dude. No, this didn't work at all. Oh, no, dude. Where's a grenade when you need one? God, dude, no way. Fucked, fucked, fucked. Activate special. Activate special. Is there a back door? Probably not, right? We're probably at some sort of dead end over here. Oh, sweet! Back door. Oh, what? SWAT team? Damn, we got four stars. I see an escape path. Take a right. Oh, wait. Oh, man, those were just cones set up? Shoot, I thought there was a way down. I think there's one up here, though. Worst getaway vehicle ever. Let's 
This is the O.J. Simpson line of getaway vehicles, which didn't work too well for him. Escape! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! Fuck it. That didn't go according to plan. Let's go this way. Hopefully Lamar can swim. Truby Titanium. Yeah, I'm on the PS4 right now, guys. We're going to do a halftime race here in a few. So if any of you guys are on the PlayStation 4 and you want to join up for the race, just stay on standby. Obviously, we can have a lot of people in the race. Any of you guys should be able to get in if you're on the PlayStation 4 right now. T Casper saying, save your game. I'm in the middle of a mission, so I can't save at this moment. Are the other guys with us? Sweet. Swimming like champs. Oh, damn, dude. I want to take this car, but it doesn't have enough for three people. Fuck. Ah, we got to take this POS. All right, where are these freaking jokers? Seriously? Are they really that slow? What are you doing? Okay, I'm fucked. They're not coming. Return to Lamar. Oh, no. Not good. Right here. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did they come up here? Okay, that guy. What are you doing, jackass? In the car. Okay. Get in, Lamar. We don't care about stretch. What are these guys doing? Get in the car. Get in the car. You fuckies. What is going on? Okay, Stretch managed to teleport into the car, but Lamar... Lamar, you're really starting to piss me off. Uh, Alright guys, I guess I'm going to drink some coffee. Lamar's trying to be a hero. Oh my god, dude. They're fucking coming up. Damn it. Shizen! What is that? Come on, man. Shout out to uh, Sour Malone's, Trippy Creamy, Trippy Echelon, Timothy Bonnet. God damn it, Trippy Gamer is claiming it's you on PS4. Alright, here we go. Take oh, wait. Does this have four? Sweet. Alright, this will work. We upgraded from the OJ Simpson escape vehicle now we're in the Paul Walker escape vehicle yep yep that's about right <laughs> that was the Paul Walker escape vehicle all right oh I deserve that one I deserve that one so bad right there oh, geez. all right no we're not gonna get the Paul Walker uh, escape vehicle give me your escape vehicle Into the car, into the car, into the car. Shout out to Vic. What's happening, Vic? ASJ Gamer Girl saying, Wow, you blew up. Yeah, that was. That was something I deserved, Gamer Girl. It was a terrible Paul Walker joke. He's a great actor. I'll never forgive myself for that one. It was like that time when I died by crashing into the tree. Instead, it was, you know, I went out like Sonny Bono. Not funny at all. Into the tunnels. Good call. I'm going into the tunnels. You're right. Into the tunnels. I know where they are. They're not far. Nothing righteous about this shit. Acting like big you new kind of hook, motherfucker. Whoa! Oh! Out the jailhouse into the ER. Yeah. I wish I was in jail. Out the jailhouse into the ER. I don't know which one's worse. Yo, not too much. What's your PSN again? My PSN is creamy420. 
creamy 420. Hit me up. Blow me up. All right, am I going the right way? Whoa! Shoot. I mean to go this way. Still my work though. Oh, never mind. We only got three stars somehow, even though I lit up like four cops or something like that. Shout out to Robert Emery. Go car! Why are you going so slow? Let's cross the river. It's crazy how in Los Angeles it doesn't rain that much. So when it does rain, this river here, this you know, it's pretty much like a ditch or whatever, the Los Angeles River. It gets so filled up with water. So even though most of the time it barely has any water in it at all, if it rains especially a lot, this thing will be gushing. It'll be like a freaking whitewater river rapid or something like that. This ain't got nothing to do with me, homie. Arno saying something in Spanish here. What is what is he saying here? A que pasa pendejos. <laughs> I think I have an idea what she said. Shout out to the Angel Falls. What's up? Shoot, I went the wrong way again, guys. I think I could still escape over here, though. I wasn't here. I wasn't even in this state. Right. I don't think they'll find us over here. Hopefully. All right, gamer girl. I hope you wrote a message. If you write a message on the thing, you know, let me know who you are. I have a good memory, guys, so I can remember, you know, all of you, especially the ones who I want to actually be on my friends list or whatever. So just make sure to add a message. You know, in your case, gamer girl, obviously, if you say, "Hey, it's me, ASJ Gamer Girl," accept my friend request, mofo, and I will. But if it's Nick Knez, or, you know, say it is uh, Otaku, you know, if Otaku, say, hey, this is Otaku from the live streams, then I'll know, okay, do not accept this friend request. Or somebody else, of course. We escaped. If you started something with the ballers, shit, I don't care if you CGF for life, man. Alright, we're gonna jump Done. it. Done, you dig? Jump it! Fuck yeah. And... Landed it. We ain't CGF for life, cause all that means is we giving you money for nothing. We got our own shit now, homie. Foreign gangsters. All right, guys, so it is 11.59 here in my neck of the woods, almost midnight. I hope all you guys had a very trippy Monday. I do have some cool things planned for Tuesday. We'll kick it off here tonight, of course, but tomorrow, hopefully we will have some really fun live streams. I hope you guys can join up. We'll make it a very trippy Tuesday for sure. Oops. No one's stopping you, little homie. Oof, tough mission right there, guys. That is definitely a tough mission. Double sided. Oh, yeah! oh we got to park in the garage. Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yitch every day. Hell no, yeah. nigga. I sound like some. Now Creamy's gonna get a bunch of friend requests. <laughs> now she has to get used to it. Now she knows how I feel. Hit up Creamy on Twitter, too. Alright. So, what's next here? Should we switch over to. To Michael let's do it thanks again for everybody joining up trippy echelon much love to you good to see you in here Rolando yeah all you guys what's happening all 
right, so what's next? Question mark. So that's the aliens. It's another Lester mission. I think this is the one where we have to go get a tux first, right? So let's go ahead and buy that. I'm just going to get a taxi. Yeah, we definitely got to change our clothes. All right, so we'll change our clothes, head to Lester, and we'll kick off the first heist. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Appreciate it. Sour Malones, we'll do uh, we'll do the race after the first heist. How about that? I think that's fair enough. ASJ Gamer Girl saying, "Can't wait to see me with Trevor." I know that's going to be epic. Start making some moves on the stock market. So here's the first one, guys. Unfortunately, we don't really have to do it yet, so he's just giving us kind of like the, uh, I guess, the directions on how to get there. Who's this? Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who oh, activated yeah. Jay, bro. Oh, I have no idea. Shout out to Ryan. What's happening? Ryan Galata. Your business, bro. Marcus anyway, Jackson. What's Jay up, Marcus? Got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. Uh, I'm gonna skip ahead after, the design after we get done with this conversation here. My shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work, and I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. Hey, my man, where you going? La Mesa. I'll get you there fast, buddy. It's time for a new coffee for me, guys. Oh, shoot. I meant to go to the clothing store first. Luckily, he's not very far. So where do you want to, go? to the nice clothes. Mr. Gamer, I'm back. What's up, Mr. Gamer, CJ, Chris Mulroy? My three are billionaires. It's taken me forever, though. Shouldn't take you forever. I mean, I, you do have to 100% the game, so if that's what you mean. But we're pretty much used to that. About to do the first heist, guys. So basically, we have to do that reconnaissance mission first, of course. We're gonna go all white. <laughs> He's gonna look stupid, but whatever. He looks stupid. You look very dapper, Michael. I never pick that dude when I do heist. <laughs> this gamer girl. Ryan Galata. Alright, nice seeing you, Ryan. Stay trippy. Subscribe if you're new, Ryan, before you go. Alright. Where's the taxi? Over there, really? Midnight coffee, <laughs> midnight coffee in GTA. That's dank. Says June A, two two six. That's that's the trippy way. Yeah, it's definitely midnight my time, guys. Thanks again for chilling with me, guys. You know I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are able to relax. You know, kick back, grab your munchies, chill with the fam. Trippy infamous. What's happening? Trippy Kill a Vapor coming through with the donation. I didn't even see you in here, Kill a Vapor. 
three. Sorry for quiet. Nice. Much love to you, Kill of Vapor. I hadn't seen you in here. That's awesome. Awesome to hear you're in here. Much love. Thank you for the donation. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me. And this, my friends, is basically the intro to the best part of the game. The heists. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks and I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I like this scene right here, guys. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not Billy Gresham. What's up, Billy? I met him. He was trying. Nahush is in here. Nahush Kakami. What's what happening? Um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is then. Let's go to Vangelico to buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a first. Vangelico. Some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That group in the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City. <laughs> he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a Shout out to Wayne. I hit the credits, but where are the side missions? Just drive around and stuff. There's guides online if you need to find them. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. And we're off. We're going to Little Portola. Yeah, guys, definitely appreciate the donation. Yeah, I understand. Trust me, you know, I know a lot of you guys, I've gotten a lot of, like, $1 and $2 donations this month, and you guys have, like, said, hey, sorry, it's only $2. Like, trust me, that's epic. $2 is amazing. That really is, trust me. Think about it. If every one of you guys gave $2, holy shnikes, I would be able to get a trippy HQ, and uh, we'd, we'd have, like, the trippy cruise if that was the case. That would be amazing, so... Obviously, that would never happen, but just keep in mind, if you give $2, then that is that is massive. It doesn't take much to show, you know, to show love. It, it really doesn't. I know, I don't know, I know it might seem like nothing, but it's not. Alright, so let's cruise through here. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. Oops. Sorry, I was doing something with my left hand real quick, guys. Damn it. As you guys can maybe tell, I'm trying to do something off camera here real quick. Just to get it out of the way. So I'm trying to take this time, this cruise in between to do it. See, this is one of the fears of getting face cam, guys. It's like a double-edged sword, right? The good thing is, I don't know, I can do stuff off camera. And if I'm crashing, you'll give me a pass. Because you'll be like, okay, Trippy's just checking something up on the computer real quick. He doesn't want to pause it. So he's trying to drive. So you at least know I am crashing, because I'm you guys are like, damn trippy. Okay, let's get You're a terrible started. driver. Alright. But then again, you know, obviously, sometimes I try to do stuff off camera and fix something on the computer without really interfering with the stream too much. Here we go. We got Michael in his uh all white suit. About to go grab some jewelry. So we got the hidden cameras on our glasses here, guys. Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about it. What's her taste? Chief, thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. 
<laughs> too much. I'm thinking maybe ten grand. Our rings start at eight. Ten grand. All right. So these things built the last. Dropping ten racks on a ring. Nothing but the best. Might as well check one more thing here while this plays. I understand. Thank you, sir. We got it. Alright, I think there's a couple things I have to find here first, right? Need the vent. Uh, X button. Still new to the PS4, guys. Not suspicious at all. Where is the alarm? There it is. A shot of the alarms come through. Come back to me. Alright, it's coming. Why, well, thank you, sir. All right, got you, Vic. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes Appreciate out. the friend request, guys. If you send me a friend request, then you better be down to uh, help me out online or whatever. Let me know what you guys... I mean, honestly, I do recommend you guys hit me up on Twitter. In order to have me accept the friend request, you need to like the video, hit me up on Twitter, and subscribe. And then I will accept your friend request. We gotta find a way up to the it's fair enough, right? Shout out to Jordan Cordova. What's up? All right, we need to go up to the roof. Coming through. Oh, what? Michael was spotted driving in a pedestrian zone. Come on. What kind of GTA game is this? We're failing for driving through pedestrian zones? Not my GTA. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Nice. Yeah, let me know what games you have, Vic. Once again, hit me up on Twitter, guys. Right now, I really need help in Destiny. It's not just me, it's Creamy and I are teaming up in Destiny. We will conquer that game, and then Destiny 2 will be right around the corner. So we're going to do all of that on the PS4 side. I will tell you, Creamy is a badass motherfucker in Destiny. If you guys missed the first live stream, it's on Twitch. We're doing that over on Twitch. You guys are probably going to want to follow me on Twitch. Ooh, is that a flying rat? But... Yeah, like, we were going into some hard missions or whatever, and then Creamy and also one other guy from her other crew, they would have, like, 40 kills each, and then I would have three. Interesting graffiti over here. Stay trippy, Asa. Oh, no, 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 no. don't See fall down. Vents. right here right who what is this oh, kind of look like a letter scrap or something tony de slug if you didn't exist i wouldn't exist whoa that's trippy tony much love to you guys much love you know i really appreciate it just appreciate you guys chilling with me especially for this playthrough let's be honest we just did the playthrough so you know, this is something I'm trying to vanquish as fast as possible, and you guys chilling with me just certainly means a lot. Which one are we looking for? That's this it. one, right? Take the shot and we're finished. We've got our shot of the units. Looks good. But I do have some really, really epic live streams planned, guys, I promise. And just, you know, make sure to stay tuned here to Trippy Commentaries because... It's not just Grand Theft Auto 5, guys. 
very soon we're going to have brand new games coming out that we're all going to want to get into, especially Red Dead Redemption. That is a bona fide new GTA game, guys, coming out. Might not have cars, so that is a big downside for people who like to drive around. This game has epic cars, but it's still going to have great characters and, and all that stuff. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not a failure. I doubt it. Coming. I gotta jump over the door, Lester. St. Pete Nightmare. Yeah, we're 100 percenting the PS4 file. That's what we're doing right now. And in the process, we're also gonna make all of our characters billionaires. The Chiliad billionaire playthrough. Exclusively. Here in our live stream, guys. Nowhere else on YouTube do you have someone doing the Chili Ad Billionaire playthrough, and then you guys can follow it along, become billionaires yourself. The garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. All right, shout out to you, gamer girl. Much love. Stay trippy. So, what did you see? Let's head out, guys. Thanks again for joining up. Almost time for the first heist mission, guys, and then. We will meet Trevor. What's going on here? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them. Watch out. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die from rich assholes rub his nose in it. Good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. And we'll get a good window if someone towns it hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store by the register. So I'd start there. Shout out to Legendary Mike. Yeah, I appreciate that. Much love, Mike. Much love. Can't wait to hook up very, very soon in GTA Online. Really, really want to, of course, on the Xbox. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. You might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good hmm. kid, Lester. You know what the yeah, kid yeah. I was You're thinking, like, how would Michael know that Franklin's so gifted? Uh, but I would say that that whole boat operation there, getting the boat or whatever, or at least saving Jimmy, that definitely proved Franklin's worth right there, for sure. Back at the warehouse. The Darnell Bros. The I, uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, let's figure out what we're doing somehow. Oh, Sour, you have to get off the uh, PS4? All right, well, let me know if you can get back on for the race. All right, guys, so let's check this out. We're going to finally make our decision on what we're going to do with this first heist. Making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. All right. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be Shout out to Bubbling Panda. What's happening, Panda? About to do the first heist. Everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. Stay trippy, Creamy. And you'll need your famous way with people and four carbine rifles. We can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, no, no. We've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward. It's a real. Thanks for chilling with me. The gun favored by LSPD tactical team. So one of oh boy, is probably a good place to look. I'm going to do shots with you guys coming up here soon. Definitely when I do the face cam, that's for sure. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bites. You come out of the store and make your way... Shout out to Bob Saget. Digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there. Oh, sweet, Bob. Very good to hear. Very epic to hear. I haven't tried Tawny Racers yet. I'll take the risk. 
What, what, what? Boglin Panda. You got the new Panda crib? New Panda pad? That is awesome, dude. That is very awesome. Okay, so let's do it the... Ah, oh, it's just so crazy, that top way, guys. Why do they make the red X, like... Ah! Why do they make it so freaking obvious? I hate that. It fucks with me, man. Because you want to do a certain way, and they just, they're like smacking you in the face, like, what well, bam Red X, bitch. There it is. Ah. I don't get it, guys. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Let me hear from you guys. I'm just going to wait a moment just to hear what you guys think. Let me know. Shout out to all you guys in the live stream. Shout out to Danny Otis. All of you motherfuckers. Chilling. What's happening? Well, Tell me what, what we do should think? do. I don't know. Came with free internet, but it's now wireless. Can't you make it wireless? Go loud. All right. I know, it's definitely, dude, it's like big time. Let's go loud, guys. Some things never change. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bike. Go to low end. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Yeah, it might be hot and heavy in there. This guy will keep it from going bad. All right, so let's go with Gustavo. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. I say go with Ricky because... Or maybe we should go with the girl, Paige Harris. Let's Harris. see what her deal is. Good. Feminine touch. That Ricky guy, I don't know. He does seem kind of like a dumbass. If this is how you want to do it, I'll get moving. Okay, uh, I'll look into how you can find a tack team and get their weapons, and I'll be in touch. All right, there you have it, guys. Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. No need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call you. RJ, you think you could do a fan stream on PS4? What does that mean? What's a fan stream? All right, mission passed. We did it. Almost ready for the heist. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. Uh, almost time for a new coffee, guys. I definitely needed one. This one's cold. I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down. So. I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, yeah. the risk will be high. But you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals. Your own jobs. So. Yeah, I like this whole, like, do. starting point, you know what I mean? Definitely pretty epic, guys see how everything begins obviously we just finished the playthrough so you see how they all end up at the very end and they're just their their motives how they view the other characters right now everything's new Franklin and Michael they just met each other this game's so huge that by the end you just you kind of forget sometimes where it all began what do we have here oh you don't have to call to tell me that not you 
the Dieter Sachs door detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. I can't. You, you can now make a choice whether to help Michael's family member or not. Yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never going to learn. <laughs> Screw you, Michael. The lawyer's fees are coming out of your account. All right. There you have it, right? True villain. See, you're given these options, guys. Don't you think there's got to be a reason why they're giving you these options? Seems kind of strange. All right, guys. Let's uh, get ready to set up this heist. Oh, fudge. Yeah. That'll teach you. But yeah, guys, very, very interesting. I do have to make a coffee real quick, so before we do the heist, I'm going to make a quick coffee. Get ready to go for it. Should be epic, guys. Shout out to Nikki Phillips. Be sure to keep the shit crew to get the most cash, says Nikki. Nadir, it is 12.30 for me, Nadir. Johnny Klebitz, what's happening, Johnny K? Thanks for playing some GTA Online with us the other day. We were trying to team up tonight for another race, but I think Sour Malone's is off the PS4 now, unfortunately. Alright, guys, so... Where's this? <coughs> ah, bless me, guys. Alright, we need to do this heist. So this is the first one here. Let's find out what's over here. Next time. You should check out the Maxwell House Intense and Bold, really. I do have Maxwell House here, but I don't know if I have the Intense and the Bold. I have the normal one. Wait, this isn't right. We don't have to go here. Oh, what's it moving? Oh, I see. We have to drive over to that one. What's that? That's the doctor, right? Right here. We should probably go to this, guys. I've been meaning to try to go to the shrink as many times as it gives us the option to. Because we kind of... We didn't do that last time. Thank you. I sneezed. Appreciate the uh, the bless yous. Luis, send me a, a friend request and give me your name on there. Drop a message. Appreciate the good vibes, guys. Appreciate that. Okay, buddy. There you go. Damn. Dude's got a nice car. All right, guys. So I'm just going to start up the coffee here real quick. Much love to all of you guys in the live stream. In, Michael. Thanks, Doc. How have you been? Good. It's been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. I can so still we'll talk to you guys, so I'll re kind of see I'm if there's anything going on in this cutscene. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just, I'll be caught up in the bullshit, Doc. Ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. And I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too. This kid. I don't know, he has similar proclivities. Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. And if it's not by choice, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know what I mean? One minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. 
And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Thoughts? I really just want to be happy, Doc. That's so bad. What's going on here? Okay. This is interesting stuff, I'd say, guys. Thanks again for your patience, guys. Yeah. Let me see what's up in the live stream while the coffee's getting made. I'm glad to hear Nostalgic, what's happening? Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. That sense my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. No problem, Sour Malones. Much love. I understand. Shout out to the Fluff. What's up, the Fluff? The Ordinary Channel. But for some reason, I could get my ass into situations where... Yes, ordinary channel. Got the PS4. Killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Arno, what's going on here? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or social? Steal his car. I'm down. I'm down, Grim, for sure. I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? Hmm. This is interesting you stuff, guys. my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without more stock. I'm pretty average for this town. That's the shot. I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doctor. Yeah. I think. No, no, I know. This is crazy. I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but. Oh, he gets interrupted. No. Ah, let's see what they did there, guys. See you next time. Shout out to Jacavian Smith. What's up, Jacavian? This is just a chill live stream, laid back style. Obviously, we have to 100% the game on the PlayStation 4. So that's what we're doing. You know, we're checking out the game again from a chilly ad mystery perspective. 100%ing it on the PS4, so that'll be epic once it's done. And on top of it, the best part of all is we are going to become motherfucking GTA 5 billionaires. And I cannot wait for that. All right, you guys told me to take the car. Steal Dr. Freelander's Comet. Let's go put it in Michael's garage. Dude, this car is badass. What is this, a Comet? Yeah. The Comet was one of the best cars from San Andreas and many different GTA games. Actually, the Comet, I believe, was pretty damn good in GTA 4 as well. Oh, I hear the coffee. It sounds delicious. Once again, much love to you guys in the live stream. I know I say it a lot, but it's true. Trust me, I... Uh, it was definitely, I was hanging out with the, the the different YouTubers yesterday to do that mystery show, the, the uh, GTA 5 mystery show or whatever. And yeah, they all definitely complimented our live stream community. Very, very badass community for sure. Appreciate you guys for being part of it. Got some special events, special takeover possibly coming soon. Let me switch it up here so I can... Go right over to Michael's house. Put this in the garage. Whoa. Mock speed. But yeah, guys, almost time for the heist. The first heist of the game. And then the better part, which is we get to meet Trevor. I gotta say, even to this day, guys, I just love driving around. 
I don't even have to do anything in Grand Theft Auto. Say I have like a break or something where I can just play a game for 30 minutes. A lot of times I'll just turn on GTA 5 and just drive around. You know, maybe get a bike, get a nice car. Still fun to do that for me at least. Mostly with a bike though. Alright, let's park this. We have stolen your car, Friedlander. Is peace and quiet too much to ask for? Alright, so we'll have to go see what the next mission is. Thanks again, guys. I'm just gonna go put the cream and sugar in the coffee. And we will pretty much be heading on to the heist. I think there's like one other thing we have to do. We have to, what, like, maybe take over some cops or something like that. Ambush them. Coming guys, don't go anywhere. I'm mixing the coffee. Alright, it's done. Oh yeah, it's delicious. Yeah guys, sorry for all of you guys are new, you know, sorry I have to like stop and get coffee and stuff like that sometimes. Um yeah, I apologize for that, but trust me, you know, when I'm live streaming, you need the coffee. It gives you energy. Alright. Let's call a taxi, guys. Huge shout out to all you guys right now. Sugar and cream. If you are new to trippy commentaries, welcome. But yes, I am very much addicted to coffee, guys. I need it. It keeps me going. Appreciate all the likes, guys. For all of you guys just joining up, I do have a brand new Chili Ad Mystery episode that's going up tomorrow. So that'll go up on the channel. You guys can check that out. I am going to record it in the morning time. So it should be up during like, I would say we're probably going to have a live stream in the middle of the day and then the new episode is going to be out after that. Alright, so what's the next stop guys? That's the Strangers and Freaks. We don't want to do that. We do want to do the heist setup though. That's the Strangers and Freaks where you do some medical drugs of course. Hillbox Hill. Hallucinate. Oh, I missed the, I missed the text from uh, Amanda guys. Remember, we denied her. Fuck her. Fuck that bitch. Trippy, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What would happen if I donated $900? What's up with people that always come in saying these comments? Aspen J, you said that last time. Alright. Where is it? Down the road now? I think we gotta get a car first. We'll use the DeLorean here. List of compact. Oh, no longer available. Ah, oh, Shizen. I don't wanna do this alien mission yet, guys. Dang it. Really? Uh, let's drive around for a second. RJ, did you see my tweet about the boat in Sonora Desert 
Epsilon mission takes place. Boat has weird noises coming from it. Whoa, I didn't see that, Johnny. Did you tweet that to me? If you didn't, reach out to me, you know, to make sure that I'm actually following you on Twitter. It's hard to keep up with everybody, so just, yeah, make sure, make sure to hit me up for sure so I can do that. But even if so, it's, it's hard to always look at the feed. So try to include me in the tweet or something if you tweet out something like that so I know. That'd be epic. Shout out to Dr. Mantis. What's happening, Dr. Mantis? So what is up with this one? It says Mirror Park. Mirror Park Railroad, right? Or Rail Yard. Mirror Park Rail Yard. But instead, there's missing letters. So it says, as the lights turn on, that was tight. Mio Arc Rail Yad. I think Arc is the thing that stands out most there, guys, but I don't know. It is kind of weird, you gotta admit. All those missing letters, and Arc has been a reoccurring thing in the game, of course. Interesting, guys. Very interesting. Alright, so still. Aha! Nice. Perfect. And it's automatically to him. Nice. Stay true, be sour. Which sounds really weird when I say it, but hopefully you know what it means. Shout out to Citizen X. Saying check check to check to check it out. Is that it? Check it, check it, check it out. You turn on the highway. Highly illegal. Take it right here. Arc survival. Oh, okay. I saw the comment fluff. It got deleted because you put it in all caps. But yeah, arc survival, I hear you. The game? You think it's a reference to the game? I doubt it, but hey, you never know. Where are these guys? Damn, that's a crazy sign. If you blow off the doors and destroy a security truck, you'll be able to get the cash inside. Okay, we don't want the cash inside. Alright, we gotta ditch the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take this one. We need your car. Must catch up to him. In our dapper white suit. What's happening? Psycho Lurch, shout out to you. What the hell? Damn! Drunken semi truck driver. What is up with the semis? Damn, they're crazy tonight. Alright, here we go. Damn, guys, I didn't get any explosives at all. This is bad. I don't think I'll have enough. Got him. Might uh, probably want to upgrade that to Bulletproof Group 6. Where is he? Show yourself. Whoa. Boom. Alright, we got it. Are we even supposed to steal this thing? <laughs> I think I did it completely wrong. Wait, now it's over there? Oh, I stole the wrong thing. I stole a freaking Brinks truck, which is really hard to do, actually. That's kind of funny. I did it by accident. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere to save it or anything. That's epic, though.
Bowling pandas, trippy bomb, tri trippy comms with no sticky bombs. I know. It's weird though, Bowling, because for the billionaire playthrough, we gotta try to spend the least amount as possible, right? But then again, there is that glitch that we can take out, take control of, to get our money up. Guess we could do that. This is never going to work, guys. Surprise, motherfucker. Where's the target? Under there? Go. Don't lock on the target anymore. Damn it. I hate that. Timothy Bonnet said, I never stole that truck. Yeah, I actually had a hard time the first time I stole it. It's not easy. I got lucky because the way I pinned the truck in like that, that actually worked out really well. All right, so even though the stars are on us, what's this? We failed, right? The truck reached the station. Oh, come on. What? I didn't know there was a time limit. Shout out to Bones420. What's up, Bones? Sadeep Doe. What's up, what's up? Slick pimping back in here. What's happening, Slick? All right, guys. But check this out, though. It resetted us with the Group 6 truck. Yes, guys, this is hard to get, I'm telling you. I wish we could save it, though. Ah, uh, there's the cop. Ah, uh, dang it. Perhaps this isn't the best car to have for this mission. Ooh, nice. Bubbling Panda, breaking it in. Good to hear. Enjoy, Bubbling. Where the heck is this guy? Whoa! Does it really have to be raining for this? Like, really? Shout out to Mysterious Animator X. What's happening, Max? Max, we're about to do the first heist. And then after that, we're going to be meeting Trevor Phillips for the first time. Steven Vick, yep, that's exactly what we're going to do, Steven. Okay, let me guess. This guy's going to the freaking police station, too. Which I think is not too far away. Shizen. Oh, they have their lights on. Dang it! What is this, a freaking race? Why do they have their lights on just to get to the police station? Shizen. Uh, much love, uh, Spider. Spider Spartan. Oh, sweet. Welcome. Appreciate the sub. Much love. Hit me up anytime on Twitter at TrippyComs if, you know, if you have anything you want us to do here at the channel. We are a huge community channel, guys, so I definitely want to hear from you guys. Whoa. This is pretty crazy. Looks like it worked out a little bit different this time. This is a stick-up. Oh, this is savage. I wonder if there ever will be a GTA 6, guys. Doesn't it seem like by the time GTA 6 comes around, the government's not going to allow it? Because I'll be honest with you, when I first bought Grand Theft Auto 5... Oh, damn, there's one more guy left! Go, 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 go! Oh, fucker, done gotta. Oh, barely. Barely got out of there. And we're not out of the woods yet. But yeah, I swear, when I first bought the game, part of me was like, oh man, is the government going to like pull this back? It's like, if so, I already got my copy. But uh, it's pretty, pretty fucked up in some angles. I got an escape path, guys. Follow us here, cops. Oh no, don't blow up. Nice. Roll. Barrel roll. Okay, we want to take a U-turn here and go the other way. 
See, in real life, right here, I was talking about it earlier in the stream, with it raining like this, this thing would actually have way more water in it. It would be a little bit more uh, full than usual. And that's what's missing from this, if you think about it. The Los Santos River going up and down, depending on the weather. That would be amazing. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, I just saved myself by complete accident. That was crazy. Shall we say trippy? Alright, let's go in here. Alright, so they won't find us in here, guys. Job well done. Shout out to Timothy. Appreciate you in here. Been here like the old time. Citizen X, Vic, Trippy Echelon. Uh, probably not going to do a race because we have uh, Sour Malone's is, is the one who likes to organize the races. I mean, if you can go on to uh, PS... If you can log on to your PS4 and set up a race and then, yeah, you know, send, send me an invite or whatever, and we can do it. But Sour Malone's is usually the one who sets that up. All right, we got it. Shout out to Mr. McFly. Yeah, what's up, Mr. McFly? What's happening? Man, you guys are amazing. Much love to all you guys. Still here, man, even though I'm on Xbox One. James Anthony, don't worry. I have an Xbox One online event. If you want to be a part of it, you know, just hit me up on Twitter. I'm going to plan that out very soon. I'll make sure to have the announcement within the next few days, I promise. I'll plan that out for sure. Alright, so we stole the truck. Job well done, everyone. Yeah, Bubbling, we need to set up a, a big event here on the Xbox One. Definitely hope you can make it. We'll make sure to plan it out at a time where you can definitely be there. We shall synchronize everyone and have an epic takeover very soon, guys. I have something planned. Let's stash this thing. Hide it under the tunnel. It's a pretty good hiding spot. Lester, I got us the tack team rifles. All right, then this score is ready to go. Come inside and meet the crew. All right, let's do it. Shout out to everybody in the live stream, guys. If any of you are new, definitely subscribe and make sure to hit the notification button so you can join up for tomorrow's live stream. All right. Have Let's a pretty crazy live stream for tomorrow, operation. I promise. Chili Ed mystery live score. stream. It won't be the playthrough, though. We're gonna execute but let's plan. do this heist. We're going to move quick. And we're gonna keep cool. Anybody gets pinched, this meeting never took place. We don't know each other. Is that clear? Now we've uh, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're gonna hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him. 15 seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. Extreme pressure, guys. Are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. Franklin will handle your getaway. I'm leaving on foot. Any questions? Good luck, everyone. Let's go. Damn. Waiting on you, kid. All right. Hold on one second, guys. Let's do this. This is going to be insane. Hey, you're in the truck with bikes. Everyone else with me. Gus, Eddie, I need you in the back of the van. Franklin's driving. I'm in the passenger seat. You choking already, kid? No. <laughs> I'm doing something real quick. That's hilarious. Choking already, kid? Nice.
advertising. Sorry about this, guys. Hold on one second. Dude, this coffee is so delicious, though. All right, let's do it, guys. <laughs> I blame it on the PS4. Trippy Blood Dragon joined up. Blood Dragon. Sweet. Much love to you, Blood Dragon. Great to hear from you. All right, so let's do it, guys. The first heist. Shout out to everybody in the Trippy Nation. Into the van we go, guys. The first heist has begun. Get in, Michael. Wait. Get in, random dude. Random dude one and random dude two. Here we go. Loud mode, says Timothy. The heist, boys. Riding now. Alright, listen up. The four of us in this van. We're about to become accomplices in a major crime. I gotta be able to trust you. My life, my liberty, my reputation. Same goes the other way. A crew will only work, only work, when there's trust. So, in the interest of fostering that type of... Whoa! Scott, let me introduce myself. I'm Michael. I've done this type of thing. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Damn. I'm all out of bubble gum. And I've made good money doing it. Enough to spend a long time. I'm not doing it. I hope it goes without saying. I know a lot of people. Anyone yet? Notice how Michael is really taking a leadership role here, guys. I'm really paying attention to what he's saying. Got it? Good. Now, Frank, over to you. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Franklin, dog. And uh, <laughs> I'm new to these kind of playing out detail robbers. I'm Franklin, dog. You know, liquor stores. That's awesome. Then I met this dude right here, Michael, man. And he turned me on to this thing. So, who's next? Gustavo Gasmota. Gustavo. Alright. I like this. Backstory, guys. But it was a couple of years before I started doing it for bread, you know what I'm saying? Instead of that repping with you from bullshit. And here we are. Man, this is interesting uh, shit, guys. Alright, this is Eddie Toe. He'll be cleaning out the cabinets and handling the getaway. He's got you some bikes for that. All you need to know about him is he's good. Sweet. Alright, cool. Let's stick with these guys. Oh, started during your final class. Good luck in your classes, Blood Dragon. All the trippy juju your way. Go get the bikes. Go! Let's do this, guys. I'm going into FPS mode for sure. Let's do it. How do you crash them? There we go. Boom. Oh, this is awesome. Feels like I'm really robbing a jewelry store, guys. The only thing's missing is virtual reality mode. Minute left? That's plenty of time. Oh, they don't let me take anymore. Oh, there we go, there we go. Damn. Found some more. Jeez, guys. So much. I think that's all of it, isn't it? Twenty seconds. That's freaking all of it. Nice. Let's do it. So for the last time, move it. Make it the fuck out my face. VR GTA. Yeah, that's a future echelon. Make sure this is one of them. 
see at the river. Go. Said the same quote as earlier there. Interesting. Alright, no more first person mode. This part of the mission is epic, guys. I love this. You gotta say that the first mission, or the first heist, I should say, it's arguably one of the best. You know, it might not be long, but everything that happens is just really cool. The beginning, you get that backstory for some guys that are gonna be with you the whole time if you choose them. Then you get just the straight up bum rush if you want it. Of course, the other way involves, oh yeah, involves the bug spray and gassing everyone. But check this out. Look at the route, guys. This is a great route. Perfect escape path. Especially with the bikes. Oh, hell yeah. This always reminds me of Space Mountain. Through the wormhole. Oh no, grind, grind. Oh, watch out for the wall, the wall. There we go. There we go, just bounced off of Michael. Oh, Shizen. Whew. I swear I thought I was gonna die a couple times there. Whoa. Thank goodness we're Franklin here, guys. This would be way different with Michael. Oh, boy. Should have just gotten beheaded. You guys remember that scene at the end of Speed? Probably not. Dennis Hopper gets his head knocked off. They're fighting on the train. You have Keanu Reeves, a.k.a. Neo, fighting Dennis Hopper, a.k.a. Bowser. Or, I should say, Koopa. And, yeah... Dennis Hopper gets his head knocked off by one of those lamps that passes at the top, the lights. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we still have the stars? Oh, dang! That's awesome. Biatch! Whoa! out son nice see what I'm saying guys is this the best heist is the first heist the best heist whoa shout out to Ian Curtis oh, that's right we got the chick we never got her backstory, Paige. Of course, I haven't turned off the controller lights yet, so they're going off like crazy. Shout out to Brian Schaffemacher. What's happening, Brian? I can't understand what you're saying there, but much love. What are you, it looks like you're saying German. I don't. If Creamy was in here, she could tell us what you're saying. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. All right, let's do it. Go, go, go. So we don't even have any stars or anything, so we're pretty good. Look at that, 25% for all three of them. Sweet. I want to hear about Paige. I wonder what her story's about. Because we got the backstory from the other guys. One of them, what was that? Not Eddie Toe, but the other guy. He had a, a backstory with the Vagos, so I like that. Yeah, I thought you were going to be stuck under a cop car. Forget oh, boy. I think I just killed somebody. Franklin's like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We did it, baby. We did it. Woo. All in a day's work, homies. Well done, guys. Victory. It's the college. We did it. All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. That shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. 
Epic mission, guys. Epic mission. Definitely one of my favorites. And guess what time it is, guys? It's time to meet Senor Trevor. Always fun. Just turned off the light, guys. Pretty late here. It's 1 o'clock, so didn't really want it to be all bright inside my place here. Time for everything to be dark. What's going on at the Vanilla Unicorn? I don't unicorn? care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up. Stop looking for the easy way. Ah, uh, she's salty, guys. Uh -uh. I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. Cover your eyes. Oh no, Franklin's car's been impounded. Okay, so I gotta go to Michael's place. Maybe we should do a quick Tanya mission just to get it out of the way, guys. Go do that real quick before we meet up with Trevor. Once again, huge shout out to everybody watching live. Thanks for chilling as we play some Grand Theft Auto 5. I'll probably be playing it for a while, guys. I'm feeling good. Definitely want to get a lot of this out of the way. Love chilling with you guys. We got Blood Dragon returning. That's definitely cause for celebration. Sexy Tanya. Bubbling Panda, I know you like Tanya. She's got those those moves, you know? Something about her. Sexy. Did she just call her she just called him Lamar? Excuse me. I'm sorry. But where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. Your love for the hood. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for real. Mysterious Animator X. Maybe I'm not the best heterosexual, but I really don't get the appeal of strip clubs. I knew a guy who blew 115,000 at a strip club in one night, says Mysterious Animator X. All right, Mysterious Animator X. I suppose I will, uh, I suppose I'll share my feelings on strip clubs. You know, it's, what is it, Tuesday, 1 o'clock, really trippy people in the live stream right now. We got Blood Dragon returning, Blood Dragon's one of the best ever, Bowman Panda also a legend, Johnny K is here, bunch of you guys, Dr. Mantis. Just really epic people in the live stream right now. You know how much love I have for you guys. So let's celebrate by, uh, let, let's let's talk about strip clubs. Let's go ahead in a little strip club conversation. I would say with my feelings now, just so you know, guys, here's a backstory. And this is why I think it, it kind of pertains to me a little bit more than you guys may think. I live in an area called Tampa Bay, Florida. You know, for those of you not out or not in the United States, you may have not heard of it. You probably have because it's a pretty popular vacation spot. It's not too far away from Orlando. You know, we have really beautiful beaches here. Well, our area is very well known for strip clubs. I bleep you not. I'm telling you guys. We have this guy named Joe Redner from around here. And he owns popular strip clubs. And there's one strip club here that is known by many as the granddaddy of strip clubs. It is called Mons Venus. Yes, Mons Venus. If you guys have heard of Mons Venus, 
that is in my area. And one of the reasons why I think that, you know, I've told you guys how I predict Vice City is going to be in Grand Theft Auto. Here, I'm going to turn down the audio a little bit for you guys. Vice City is going to be in GTA 6. I think it's going to feature Vice City going up to Atlanta. I think it'll be something like A Town. I don't know what I don't know what they'll call it, but in between Atlanta and Vice City is where I'm at. I, I mean, a little closer, of course, to Vice City. In fact, I'm definitely much closer to Vice City. But I think my area would be represented, and the big. Uh, the big strip club community is probably one of the reasons that it would attract it. And we also have a big history of cigars and Cubans. Anyways, because there's a huge history and uh, just a big population of strip clubs in my area, I'd say that it's a little bit more popular in my area than most, so I would have an opinion on it. That said, I am, I'm with... I'm with, uh, who said that? Mysterious Animator X, I think, right? I'm not super into the strip club. Here's the thing about it, Max. Here's what is appealing to the strip club for me, and that is basically as a place to hang out. It's kind of cool to hang out with your buddies. Like, imagine, say, myself, Legendary Mike, Bubbling Panda, and Dr. Mantis get together. What you know, there's no problem with getting together at a strip club and just having it in the background. That's not a big deal. Like just having it as a cool place to hang out, no problem with that. Hey, no one's gonna complain about having a girl naked while we hang out and have some drinks. It's not a big deal. But I'm not with the whole like just drooling over the strippers, spending all your money on it, especially because you know you're you're not supposed to like there's no sex in the strip club at least there's not supposed to be so why would you go to a place to get turned on or whatever just for nothing that's it's not gonna happen right so I guess that's one of my takes on it guys as far as strip clubs you know I would say it's a cool place to hang out but you don't want to spend a ton of money on it I think anybody who's been to a strip club I've definitely spent a good amount of money at a strip club before, but it's not worth it at all. Let's face it, the strippers most of the time are not. Oh, hold on, I don't want to get out of the car. They're not. They're not a uh, girlfriend material. Maybe, maybe a little bit, but not. You know, you know what I'm saying, guys. But I would say that's my take on it, guys. Trippy Stoner saying, "Take them to the back." Yeah, I mean, in theory, there's no sex at the strip club. In theory. I don't think I would. K-Rain, just playing Destiny. K-Rain, I'm probably going to play Destiny tomorrow. I, try, I think I'm going to hopefully hook up with Creamy for Destiny tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, hit me up on Twitter. Watch out. We got the truck. Appar apparently, Paige Harris is Lester's assistant. Marcus Jackson, clutch with the information. Thank you. Epic information. So, Paige is Lester's uh, person. Okay. Very interesting. There's got to be some kind of backstory for her. We'll hold on to her. There's a lot of out there strip. Hold on, I'm gonna switch up the view. Oh, it doesn't let me get in. Trippy Ramiz, did I finish Resident Evil 7? No, no, I need to buy it. Trippy Stoner, are you planning to finish the story tonight? Do you know how long the story is, Stoner? It's so long. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, shout out to uh, Trippy Mike. What's happening, Mike? Coming through. Let's go to Mons. Yeah, of course, Mike. Trippy Mike lives... 
you know, right down the road for me, not too far at all. Yeah, we live in the uh, strip club capital of the world, so we could go to Mons or a bunch of other popular strip clubs, Odyssey, but I'm pretty sure Mike agrees with me when it comes to strip clubs. You definitely don't want to waste your money there. If there's no cover charge and you're just going there to hang out, girls in the background, no one's going to complain. Thank you guys. Sorry for the sneezes tonight. We did it. Wonder if we can can we tow truck the uh, the train? Let's see if we can get past it. Pull in another favor. Nice, K Rain. Excellent. Hopefully you can hook up tomorrow on Destiny. That'd be epic, K Rain. I'm telling you, Creamy is she's not to be fucked with on Destiny. Good to have her on my side, because if not, I'd probably have a, a much harder time. Basically, if you guys aren't familiar with Destiny, it's it's like Halo and Call of Duty, but you have to upgrade your character to become stronger and upgrade your different abilities. So at first, I'm pretty weak. It's almost like an RPG like that. But if you have people on your side that are good, it's going to make the game a lot more enjoyable. And that's what's happening right now for the Trippy Nation. And of course, anybody on the PS4 can join up with us. Keep in mind, guys. Whoa! Oh, man. Alright, I'll reload it. We don't want to waste our money here. Uh, I'm not sure, k -Rain. You're going to have to keep up with me on Twitter. I'll, I'll reach out to you or whatever. I'll let you know. Thank you, Mr. McFly. Size in. Just auto saved. Shout out to everybody in the live stream once again. Trippy Stoner, the dude, Vic, Doctor Mantis. You should try to stop the train. Remember we did that last time. That was epic though. All you guys, much love. Uh, shout out to anybody who's new in the live stream. If you have not subscribed to the channel, definitely do that because we have a live stream planned for tomorrow. I have something big planned for that one. It's just going to be a chili ad mystery live stream, not a playthrough, but something I've been meaning to show off to you guys. And on top of that, there's a brand new Chiliad Mystery episode that is going to drop after that. So good times tomorrow. It should be a very trippy Tuesday, guys. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys in the live stream, of course. Hope you guys can make it. Alright, here we are. What do we have to do to turn into Trevor? Oh, that's right. We have to... Aha. We have to go over to Michael's house. So I think once we do that, that's going to kick off Trevor. You guys ready to meet Trevor? Train one, trippy zero. Yeah, you're right about that, Dr. Mantis. It got me good. Hurry up, taxi. We got the uh, children of the mountain right across the street. Damn, we, we got to get some more weapons. No grenades. Just don't want to waste too much money. wonder if we need it. Should be Ramiz. It's already Tuesday. Exactly, Ramiz. We're starting off Tuesday already. See how we do it? By the way, guys, it's 1.20 my time. It's 4.20 somewhere, as you guys always say. So whatever time it is for you guys, really appreciate all of you guys chilling with us. Trippy Tombstone, what's happening? Trevor freaking right, Phillips. Trevor, yeah. Good old Trevor making his trippy intro as usual. This is a big one, guys. Here we go. What's going to happen here? Here we go. Living room? Oh, hey, the hell? There you are. He's 
Drunk. So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. Who knows a guy? Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> now, we might actually have a little celebration, guys. Pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. RJ found a trippy crystal cave. Start a live stream. What? What the hell? Where the hell's that, the dude? You better hit me up on Twitter and tell me where you're talking about. Davy, long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive. Oh, really? This is how this guy comes into play? Don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. Gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. No, really. What's going on here? Albert's story had a lucky escape from the thieves ranch. What's he gonna say? I don't know anything about that. Yes, that's awesome. Uh oh. Here's Johnny. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you want to smoke up now? Jeez, oh, so messed up. Trevor, you been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high. But that oh my gosh, right. dude. So Johnny K, by the way, so main God protagonist right. of the Lost in the Damned, that the second, or I should say, the first DLC. From GTA 4. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Oh, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants. Jeez, he's, he's so fucked up, guys. So fucked up on multiple levels. I told him, leave it, leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to. Me he just tricked to this stream. You're probably right. Nice. Appreciate that, Johnny. Fuck you, Trevor. Speaking of Johnny. It's your shining moment, Johnny K. It's your one shining moment. Oh jeez, it's so bad. Uh, like this game is extreme. This game, oh man, it's so fucked up. Wow. On a scale of ten, guys, how fucked up do you think that is? It's pretty fucked up. All right, and that's how that one all starts. Wow, Trevor making his grand debut indeed, guys. Where are we going? Now, we got to remember, Johnny made the fatal error of doing that right after Trevor heard the news about the robbery. Yep, he knows it. Shout out to Rasta Boy. What's up, Rasta Boy? Yeah. Uh, I know all of you guys agree with me that Wade is just super annoying. He's easily the most annoying character in the game. He's funny and all when he gets to the strip club, but before that, it's kind of weird. But at the same time, when you play through the game multiple times, you kind of understand where he's coming from. 
This game really is one that you have to play through multiple times, and that is why they give you different options for the heists, to give you incentive to play it over. They want you to play the storyline over. Now, I think they actually have updated that to they want you to play GTA Online, but still, the storyline is definitely meant to be played over. What's going on here? Uh, the bikers were spooked just because I got out of the car? Really? Okay, I guess so. The wheels are in motion. We gotta reach out to the rest of them. What? They put us all the way back here for fuck's sake. right out You're kind of pale, Trevor. You shout out to okay? Chancy Chantiso is that how you say that there's a number of likely explanations I mean the government are releasing chemicals to control global warming they'll try and control anything it might have been the vapor somehow with the light this is interesting uh, interesting deep dialogue here guys watch out Quoting the same dumb movies. Aha. Yeah, that's right. He did quote the movie there. That's how he knew it was Michael. That's crazy. Jeez. Does not end good for Floyd, as we know. Here we go. Confrontation. They don't know that Johnny's dead. As a matter of fact, I just did just ten minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Johnny is cool if you Oh really? Well, you don't think so. That was kind of funny. Why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy. You mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry. What was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party on the left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you Damn. very much, Cowboy. Such a savage. Oh, shit. Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. Crazy comment, Vic. All right, All we're right. out. We follow the band back to the rest of them. Then the lost MC. Where are we going? Region for good. Going to kill some bikers. Got him. Run him over for good measure. They're not letting me catch up with the other one, so I'm gonna try to shoot him. I only keep things in the back. I don't mind losing. Oh. What if I can I did try to blow out the tires once. I don't think you can. Or at least not at the van. Hold still. Got him. Okay, so I can't shoot it too much. I see. We will lure them to the enemy and then blow them all up. Oh, sweet. They got an HVY dozer out here. Is that like a mini dozer?
<laughs> I wonder who does Wade's voice. I need to look that up. He sounds so weird. It's almost like you have to plug your nose to do his voice. Almost there. Slide out there, nothing too bad. Alright, so we're driving by the alien silos here for the first time. We need to see if the guy, if the people still die on the PS4. I'm going to probably do that very soon. Here we go, going to war. What kind of guns we got here? Shotgun? That'll do. Shotgun works. Hasta la vista. Damn, there's a fuck ton of them though. Oh yeah. Dude, Trevor's so great. You guys are reaching out to me. Oh, yeah. Say cheese. Dude, that needs to happen more. How come that's the only time it does that in the game? Oh, no. It kept blowing up even more. Shout out to Tupac. Tupac Shaker joining up. Trippy Reaper. What's up? Alright, blowing all you up. So can we blow up all these red things? Let's try this one. That one wasn't too big. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Watch this. Let's lure him. <laughs> oh, and... Good night. Whoa. Oh, damn. Trevor is the best shot in the game. You see that? Pinpoint accuracy. What the hell's that guy doing? Whoa. Nice. So epic. Kind of seems like the be. Oh no! Jeez, the chain reaction, guys. Fucking a. Shout out to Anthony Dukaj. What's up? What's up? Going Rambo. guys behind me. Not gonna trick me. Oh boy. Not good. Let's blow up the truck. Fuck it. Oh, just blow up already. Things are blowing up. Alright, let's do it. Bitch. Moment of epicosity. Look at that. Damn, you can see the furniture flying out and everything. It's so epic. Why does that only happen once? Damn it. Dude, I wonder if there's like anything in the house. You know it's going to keep blowing up, I'm sure. You keep dying like that, but it is tempting to rush in there. Is there a baby in there? Trying to be a hero. Guys, there could be a baby in the trailer. See anything in there? You think we could fit through there? 
Fuck it. No! No! Activate special! Stop, drop, and roll. Okay. We're alive for now, but barely. Let me give some shout-outs while our life regens. Much love to Blood Dragon, Arno, Danny Otis, Bubblin' Motherfucking Panda, Dr. Mantis Tobaga, Toboggan MD, <laughs> Trippy Ferris joining up. I didn't see you in here, Trippy Ferris. What's happening? Grim, chilling as usual. What's happening, Grim? Hope you're doing well this week so far. Man Bear Pig. Why are you bringing up Man Bear Pig? What does he have to do with anything? Okay, can we blow up this place? I kind of feel like blowing up this one, too. Let's see if it works. Probably not. Not big enough. That's all of them. Famous last words. Shout out to Brandon Jaraquois. What's up, Brandon? Shout out to anybody new in the live stream. Welcome. Definitely subscribe so you can join up with our live stream tomorrow. We do live streams every day here, guys. So as long as you subscribe, it'll give you a heads up. You don't have to miss any of our live streams. So we're just keeping Wade behind, I guess. All right, that works out. Ortega lives near here. Let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas, man, the Aztecas. The Aztecas. Is he Illuminati? Don't as well? fuck with the Aztecas. I don't, I'm one of the lizard people. Always talking about the Illuminati. Chinese contact you can meet at the inn. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Oh jeez. Enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns, too. The Aztecas <laughs> the guns, so That's a good quote. Our enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns, too. All right, guys. So here's our first decision of the game, right? So here's what I'm thinking for our karma. We know that Michael is the true villain. Franklin's in between, which means I think Trevor is the secret good guy. But wait, no, because he's a psychopath. So if he's the psychopath, then he's got to be savage. So everyone's dying. What the fuck, Trevor? This is the fuck, my soggy friend. You are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Say something, they'll make it true. No! All right, guys. So, yeah. I mean, think about it. Trevor is the Joker. He's Jack from The Shining. He's freaking Jason Voorhees. He's the worst character you can ever come up with. That's what... That's what Rockstar's intentions were with Trevor. They wanted to create the biggest crazy psychopath ever. You get the picture. Oh, that feels better. You sure so we must do what Trevor would do, I suppose, guys. We have no choice, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Trippy Reaper timed out by Blood Dragon. Oh boy, would you <laughs> watch out? Do not face the dragon rage. Underrated statement of the night. Uh, what was that, Mr. Gamer saying Tre Trevor is crazy. Oh yeah, big time crazy. 
I mean, you see what he does to take over the strip club. That's some crazy stuff. That happens later on in the game, of course. Tyson guys, sorry, trying to read the the uh, chat a little bit. I haven't got a chance to check it out in a little bit. Shout out to Washington Carver. With the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. Washington Carver, don't worry, Reaper. I get a time out of every stream I part or partake in. Hey, gotta follow the rules. The rules of the live stream. Obviously, keep in mind, guys, it's not so much if you ever get a timeout. It's not so much about you guys. It's it's about the uh, hordes of trolls. That's why there has to be the, uh, the rules. Blame it on the trolls. We should make a song, a parody song. You know, the blame it on the alcohol song, blame it on the trolls. That'd probably be pretty terrible. Here we are. Tandy Otis, look what Trevor does to Wade and his wife. Trevor is just misunderstood, says Irish Simon. We have Trevor's house now. Beautiful. Beautiful house. <laughs> it's not too bad. There you have it. So now we have Trevor. We've officially met Trevor, guys. Good old Trevor. All right, hold on one second, guys. So I kind of wanted to check out a couple things with Trevor, though. Namely, what stuff he has available right from the start. You know That's what I'm doing. Like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. Shout out to ABP Manic. What's happening? The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the What's up, phone? Alan? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Damn. You know how I feel about that. He's pissed. All right, so what missions do we have available to us here, guys? Oh yeah, let me check. I wanted to check uh, Trevor's wardrobe, see what's actually happening. Looks like he has the smoking huff or gas option right off the bat. Interesting. Pretty good selection. Ah, so he has glasses. Rocking the aviators. A black hoodie. Notice how he has the denim jacket, guys. That's because he represents Bob from Twin Peaks. I know I've said that before, but it's... Trust me, it's very trippy. Shout out to Isaiah Diaz. Isaiah, I'm on the PS4 right now. Still got the Xbox One. Just doing the PS4 GTA 5 today. Okay. Seems like he has more clothes options than the other characters off the bat. Maybe not too many more, though. Ah, he's got the hunting outfit. Yeah, the fact that he has a default outfit that is Bob from Twin Peaks. That is highly tripified. Let's see what missions we can do. Call a taxi. I need a cab, Toronto. No problem. I'll have what is this? Uh, Trippy Reaper is off the. <laughs> hey, I follow the rules every live stream. I was just curious, and now I know it wasn't YouTube bots. It's just the mods. Nice Reaper. So let's see where we're going to go here, guys. Let's do a mission. 
Strangers and Freaks over there. Chinese. Alright, let's do the Chinese. This one's pretty hilarious. Where you headed, homie? Hey, we're here. Alright. What are we doing here? Oh. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. Nice. Trevor's the bouncer. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my guy. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a nice thing, honey? Anyway, I saved your husband. Give me a drink. Nice. A meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet you. Oh, no, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang's translator. Speak Spanish, speak it to each other. Mr. Tao Chong is... Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What's wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father killed me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing. Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. All right. Hopping in the truck with the crew. Chef is kind of an underutilized character, I'd say. We're just coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. Oh. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. Damn, Chiliad looking epic, guys. Pink and purple. and Oh, man. That's so crazy looking. No, no. Mr. Chang Sr. is very specific. He wants a good Chiliad is... I mean, that is amazing looking. That is amazing. So he what our operations all about. GTA 4 didn't have that, that's for sure. V Dog saying he has a boss just like or he had a boss like the Chinese guy? Really? Look at the guy just gets right in there. Crazy private room. Wow. Packing heat. Alright guys, let's kill some Aztecas. Looks like there's something we can blow up right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I feel like in every video game, you know, just make sure to blow stuff up. You know, that that's crucial. It doesn't matter what game you're going to play. Like, if there's something red that you can shoot to blow stuff up, then I'd say go for that. 
Usually it starts a chain reaction and kills everything for you. Ah, Chiliad Mythbuster join up. What's happening, Mythbuster? Good to see you chilling in here. Going over story missions. Yeah, I just bought the uh, the PlayStation 4, so I have the GTA 5 on PS4 now. So obviously because of that, I have to 100% everything all over again. It kind of sucks, but, you know, at the same time, GTA 5 is fun to play. So yeah, pretty much nothing too special, just beating all the missions. We just did the first heist, which is badass, man. That mission is crazy. And uh, yeah, we just met Trevor for the first time. Damn it! I hate not having explosives. It's like you see cards, you just want to blow them up. What do you give me? Oh, thank you, Chef. You are my hero. Oh fuck yeah! God bless the grenade launcher. Oh, yes, that was glorious. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Uh oh. Coming in hot. This personal. We need to get to the front of the shop. Come on. All right, moving out. Yeah, much love to all you guys hanging out with me. Let's move it downstairs. Come on. Yeah, appreciate you stopping by, MythBuster. Much love. Now that I've done a 100% run four times, I'm past that. No more 100% runs. I know, I know. I mean, what are you going to do though, right? Like, I have it on PS4 now. I can't have it at 0%. They're coming the door. Get down. But I don't know what I'm going to do for the ending. That's the, that's the conundrum. Oh, fuck. Nearly dead. What? Look at that guy. A lot of people are telling me to kill Trevor because the last thing I did was kill Michael. But I don't want to kill Trevor. You know, I, I I love Trevor's character. I think he's amazing. At first, I would have been all about killing Trevor, but after the last playthrough, I, I kind of learned to appreciate Trevor. Like, he has morals. Even though he does go crazy, he has morals. But then again, he kills Johnny, like, right off the bat with no morals at all. It's, it's tough, man. Perhaps knowing the character's true intentions... Is a bigger mystery than the Chiliad mystery. Right. Time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> I think we have seen quite enough. These guys should have hypothermia. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! All right, there you have it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and switch it back over to Franklin. I want to do one more, okay, or not. Michael and Franklin are lying low. Oh, okay. Okay, so never mind. We'll do one more mission with Trevor. Shout out to Trippy Ramiz. Ramiz, you ready for the next uh, takeover? We're probably going to plan a takeover sometime this week. Maybe this weekend? Possibly. Hope you're going to be ready to go. Unsteady Gorgeous. I've killed Trevor in mine and so far haven't found anything that's different. See, here's the problem. Trevor, I mean, he has the best special ability. If you want to get five stars, you're best off using Trevor for sure. I ended on Omega's second mission. I also have some kind of interesting info. Nice, very nice. I wish I had more news to give. So many leads, so many dead ends. Yeah, I was just, I was just kind of thinking that the other day. You know how there's all this information, but a lot of times it leads to a dead end. But it's kind of just like Rockstar. I feel like it's just them, kind of showing us that there's something more. You know, just sprinkle in little clues. Like say, say you're going to 
get your son a bicycle, right? You're going to get your son a bicycle for his birthday. You don't want to obviously spoil it for him, but maybe you're going to be like, hey, check that bicycle, uh, or what is it? Uh, check, check that bicycle trail out, son. Isn't that a nice one right there? It looks pretty cool. Or, you know, maybe like, oh, look at those guys. It looks like they're having fun on their bikes. You know, maybe throw little Easter eggs without actually telling them the answer. Not sure if that's exactly the best way to put it, but you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, Strangers and Freaks. I think this is, this Cletus? Let's head over to Cletus. Oh man, almost 2 a.m. my time, guys. I'm pretty hungry. I did just sneak away and put some food in the oven. So it'll be done for when the live stream is over. Got some barbecue. You guys like barbecue? It's pretty fire. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you. What the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. <laughs> well, it didn't seem like nothing. I don't <laughs> that part is pretty hilarious. It was nothing. I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you! Old man! Motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old! Motherfucker! Oh, failure. Huh? What? 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 Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we exactly, huh? Get up. Sorry, man. We're sorry. Help! Help. There's a guy with a gun. And yeah, the joy of rage mode. Was that a Wilhelm scream? Did you hear that? That was a freaking Wilhelm scream to start off. That's amazing. Speaking of Wilhelm scream, scream guys. So today is May second. So I'm having a big event. I'll announce it. I'll probably do maybe a video so you guys know about it, or at least everybody else knows about it. But special day coming up, guys. May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Is, of course, Star Wars Day, guys. So if you are Star Wars fans, definitely hang out. We'll have a Star Wars live stream. Here's what I have planned for the Star Wars live stream. I'm going to talk about, we'll, we'll discuss... Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars Rogue One, and of course, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Oh, I'm about to blow the fuck up, aren't I? Run, Trevor! Yeah, so definitely join up for that, especially if you guys have any take, any opinions you want to drop, anything like that. I would love to, you know, read off any comments. And uh, I don't know, I, I kind of want to plan it to where maybe you guys can share an opinion about Star Wars if you have it, and obviously predictions for the upcoming Star Wars. Yeah, so May the 4th be with you. May 4th, we will have a Star Wars, a special Star Wars live stream, guys. I hope you can join up for that. I'll definitely make sure it's, it's a good one for you guys. And I have plenty of thoughts that I want to share with you guys. A myth buster. The bust up. But can we, but we can say that the known ways that the audio Shies and I died by reading his comment. Damn you, Busta! No links to any of that audio like the go forth and collect line. See, here's the problem with that, Mythbuster. You probably know a lot more of the audio files than I do. There's probably so much I don't know as far as that stuff is concerned. I can imagine, like, you know, I've just... I've, I've kind of imagined been able to uh, have the capabilities that you and a lot of the PC gamers have to where you can check all that stuff anytime you want. Can you imagine like me seeing that stuff a lot or at least a lot of the stuff for the first time? It'd be probably legitimately mind blowing. I mean I've talked to a lot of people who looked into it for the first time and it's crazy, right? They're like, oh man, the map the amount of stuff that's in here that has gone unused or it's kind of unanswered. Oh my god, dude, this one's a little bit harder than I thought, guys. Fucking heck. Stay away from me. Damn, Sandy Shores inhabitants. No, nope, not the tree, Trevor. Don't shoot the tree. Trippy dagger. What's happening, Dag? Much love to all you guys in the stream. 
really appreciate all your comments you know obviously really makes it a much better stream for me when I have epic comments to read appreciate guys like Mythbuster who have you know really been working on a lot and put a lot of time into the, the mystery you guys know I have a lot of respect for you guys any help is much much appreciated but I'm telling you guys as of right now I really feel like Red Dead Redemption 2 is gonna hold probably more answers to this mystery I know a lot of people hate hate to hear that it's true but as someone who is really into the San Andreas mystery and Easter eggs I just remember being so stunned that Rockstar connected it to Red Dead Redemption because I didn't get Red Dead Redemption right away you know I, I it took me maybe like probably a good year before I played it for the first time once I played it I was I was in love with it but yeah then when it had all these references to San Andreas I guess because the way they advertised it all right we did it I didn't really know that it was a bona fide GTA type game and yeah, kind of figuring that out along the way was like crazy. Ugh. But yeah, guys, really appreciate all of you guys chilling in the live stream. Much love to all of you guys hanging out. So definitely stay tuned. Tomorrow, I have a brand new episode that's going to be coming out. Kind of breaking down something with the Chiliad Mystery Mural. I think we have some evidence that Rockstar, kind of like what I talked about earlier, how maybe Rockstar doesn't always have to put these these answers or possibly an ending to the Chiliad mystery. Maybe Rockstar doesn't have to put it in there with every Easter egg, but a lot of them do have proof and solid evidence of some meaning, I guess you can say. Once again, check out the episode tomorrow. I will explain something that I've been talking about a little bit, so it'll be the first time that I kind of break it down. Hopefully you guys can check that out, and then we will have a live stream that will actually go down before the new episode. Hopefully you guys can definitely check that out. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification button. It'll give you a message as soon as the trippy crew goes live. Ugh, jeez guys. It's been a really long day. I'm extremely tired, but I'm even more hungry, so I need to eat first. And yeah, guys, I'll definitely be up in the morning. I have to record a video before doing some other errands. And then we will have a very trippy live stream, guys. Shout out to everybody in the live stream chat. And huge shout out to everybody watching after the live stream. If you actually made it this far, holy shnikes. Much love to you. You are a true legend. Shout out to Cameron the Cool, Dr. Dapperton, Danny Otis, and everybody in the trippy crew, stay tuned. More importantly, as always, stay motherfucking trippy, my friends. Good night, guys.